First family, I want to say let's give a shout out to my co-host and producer of this show. That is Bill 1L Morgan. Let's give him a hey, y'all. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, hey. Everybody That's just give him a hey, hey. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and Big B, uh, yeah, you know, you always start off, man. How you doing, Dr. Paul? Oh, I'm doing well. That sounds well, like, who's that, Farouk? Yeah. Ah. All right. I got you, man. I got you. All right, Big B. Big B. I'm gonna have to mute somebody. 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 Big B. Uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, you I'm, I'm all. I got you right there. All right. So. Uh, we want to start off, but Big B, you always have the numbers for Corona and all yes, those sir. things that are important to us. Give us the 411. What's going on with the numbers right now? Where are we in the world? Okay, guys, as of 26 minutes ago, total confirmed cases worldwide, 104,844,515, okay? I'm going to type these in as we go, but let me get them out first, okay? Total mm -hmm. confirmed cases are 106,000. 826 total those, those are the total critical guys that's total critical now total deceased 2.275 million 2 million 275,542 total active 26 million 136,305 total recovered Here's the drum roll, family. Here's the drum roll. That's right. 76 million four hundred seventeen thousand six hundred and fifty-nine. Wow. Okay, total recovered. That's the good news. Give for me us, that guys. number one more time, Big okay, B. Okay, here we go. One more time. 76 million four hundred and seventeen thousand six hundred and fifty-eight. Total wow. recovered. Wow. Did y'all hear sure. that? Did y'all hear that numbers? You now know, you can up. get that's these numbers up. right from the website that we uh I actually have uh been talking to you about for a right, long right, time right, you know right. we on the green hour talk about it all the time it's called in cove n c o v 2019.live and bill's reading from that right. list and i'm telling you y'all this is an up-to-date on everything that's going on why are we not hearing these things on the media because you know we're focusing on the negativity you cannot focus yes, on yes, this yes. negativity you have to focus on the positive accentuate the positive because what you if you get caught up in it it can lead to depression and anxiety and all uh, these other things that people yes, are going yes. through you know that children are having states of depression now do y'all know that yes, children yes, yes. are having depression now you know some of the children also are having you know they're playing so many you know games with the things they're mm -hmm. having two major problems we're seeing they're coming in with back pains misalignments with the spine and arthritis in the mm -hmm. thumbs mm -hmm. did y'all hear that wow. arthritis arthritis in the thumbs in the thumbs oh wow why <laughs> <laughs> i want to tell anyone know why they would have arthritis in the thumbs. <laughs> Guess why? Playing yes. video games. No. Playing them video games. <laughs> Playing them video games. Video games, tablets, computers. tablets, computers, yes. all of those yes. things. Yes. Yes. And then, everything. And also, <laughs> right. And also, there's another thing that's happening with a lot of the children too. Uh, they're getting radiation exposure. Yes. You know, yes, you yes. can get addicted to radiation. Wow. from being on the TV too long, in front of these monitors too long. Wow. You ever been in okay. a situation where you go in a room and somebody sleep and they sleep and then, you know, they knocked out sleep, TV running. As soon as you come in there, cut the TV off, they wake up and say, I was listening to that. that. I was watching, watching that. that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you weren't watching that. You were asleep. No, That's I wasn't. Wrong. I was watching it. Guess what? Go addicted to radiation well have right. that's what that is it's an wow, addiction to radiation that means their bodies are being hit with that radiation on such a consistency that when it stops now they wake up whoa oh, what's wow. going on wow oh wow. yes so what's happening with a lot of the children right now they're online so much that you know i would suggest that you know there were some of the stones that we talked about that if you have a young one in your life, I would specifically recommend that you start to get them a sort of a stone or some form to uh, so that they can actually bring down some of that radiation. You know, one of them is called the shungite. Shungite. Can y'all see that? See that? Oh, man. Uh, you know what? You, you have to take your, take your background off so we can see it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's it. it. You be See? Hiding. See? I I... That's it. It's a Shungite stone. Okay, Shungite stone. All right. Shungite stone. It's a black stone. And sometimes you would take it and you would put it right on top of the or in front of the computer mm -hmm. just before you get there. So Shungite, S-H-U-N-G-I-T-E, Shungite. That would be one. Okay. Also, Shungite comes in little small stones like this. Can y'all see that one? Y'all can see that one. Yeah, that, that one see that can right see. there. Yes, mm -hmm. that one we can't you know, see. Shungite comes from the Shungia, Russia. And this is actually something that is not from this planet. How about that? Mm -mm. This is from a meteor that came and hit Russia a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And from that, this is where all the Shungite comes from. Shungia, Russia. But okay. this thing is zero ohms, so it is totally... It downs and brings down all radiation. So anything that's, uh, whenever we did the, we did a test with this. Uh, we took meters, the electromagnetic readers, mm -hmm. and we took those electromagnetic readers and we put them close to places around and we put this right next to it, like phones, you know, any electronic device, and it pulls down the radiation on wow. there. Okay. Got it. So radiation is a big problem. So those monitors, this would go right in front of the monitor where the person is sitting. Mm. Got it. So you could okay. sit down on there. Uh, there's another one. So you got the first one, right? What was the first one? First one was what? Shungite. 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 And over the internet, it's a grounding. Shungite. Yes, it's a grounding stone. Grounds everything. Got it. All right, so that's it's one. The bracelet, can you wear the bracelet for what? Yes, you can. See right here? See this right here? This is a Shungite bracelet that I have on. I keep one on me at all times. See that right there? Y'all can see that, right? Mm -hmm. Got it? I feel like I'm on the prices right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dr. Paul, where did you get that Shungite bracelet? Actually, I got this right at Pollock Herbs. Pollock Herbs got this one. Yep. Paul, where's Pollock Herbs? He's on um, Broad and Champ Loss, right at 5925 uh, Broad Street. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was in there one day and I said, man, is that a wow. guy? Give me that. <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. Now, also, what was that again? Because my, my, my computer went out. My computer. What, what's the address? 5925 Broad Street. Posted it in the chat box. If everyone would turn on the chat box. Mm -hmm. I, I just put it in there. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. All right. That's where I got mine from too. You got yours from there too. Okay, excellent. And also, you have Ross Ben. You know, Ross Ben is a good friend of mine. Yeah. And uh, we got a book coming out, y'all. We got uh -oh. a book look coming out. out. Look yep. out! Look out now. Ross Ben and I have a book coming out, and it's going to be out of sight. You know, <laughs> and it's going to be a combination of us uh, coming together on our two worlds. His is the rock world, and mine is the. Uh, sticks and world, sticks and plant world. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So it's going to be a great, great book that we're we're heading on. Well, that see, that's awesome. that's something you, that uh, we've needed for a long time. You know, we don't hear think, hear about things like that anywhere else, Doctor Paul. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you got Shungite. Right. Okay. Uh huh. Um, I gave you that one. Uh, now another one is called Labradorite. I don't have a Labradorite with me don't have one on me. Labradorite. Labradorite. Like a Labrador retriever. Uh, retriever. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like a Labrador, like the dog. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. That comes from the the Labradorite is a, or is another word is called spectrolite. Okay. It is, uh, um, it is Dr. used. Dr. Paul, excuse me. Yes. Uh, what, what can be used for MS? Okay, let me get to that, okay? I'm going to get to that in a second, okay? All right. All right. Um, because there's some good stuff for MS. There's uh, there's definitely, uh, there are some specific ones that we can use. Um, so where were we? We were talking about Labradorite. Uh, and Labradorite. Labradorite, right, comes from Labrador, Scotland. Okay, that's where it gets its name, Labrador, Scotland. And that is excellent because it is shield. It's actually like a shield. If uh, I keep one in my car 
That's why I keep one in my car because, you know, when you step on the gas and hit the brake in the middle of where your gear shift box is, that's a lot of electromagnetic uh, radiation coming off of there. So I put one right in that area where they, you know, where they, they have a little ashtray, mm -hmm. you know, like the ashtray holder right in there. I put one right in there because that's where if this to reflect any radiation, it would happen right there. So that helps to keep you bring down the radiation again. And the spectrolite or the labradorite, even when you hold it up, it actually, you turn it and it not only reflects uh, radiation, but it reflects light too. So you'll mm. see it. it's a beautiful, marvelous stone. As you turn it, you'll notice that it reflects light and spins it to different directions. So Labradorite would be excellent to carry on you. It's also good for 5G radiation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent for that also. So all good stuff. All right. So that's Shungite. We had Labradorite mm -hmm. or Spectralite. Right. Got it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to give you one more. And that's called a, this is actually a dual terminated crystal. Quartz crystal. It's called a quartz crystal. See that? Y'all can see that. Sure can. Yeah, quartz crystal. Okay, the quartz crystal is probably, you know, uh, people say, well, I don't believe all these crystals and stuff. Yep, mm hmm yes, you do. You know why? Because everyone who has a cell phone has this has one everyone? right here. Yes, indeed. See this right here? But this one right here is not denatured. When you have in your cell phone, what you have in your cell phone is a denatured crystal. This one is a live crystal. That means what is inside of a crystal? Well, it's actually grown. It grow. This particular one grows. When you see points at each end, y'all see that points on mm -hmm. each end? Well, the points mean that's how it grew. It grew this way. Got it? Grew okay. this way. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll see... Uh, they grow straight up, and that's when they break them off, and they're flat at the bottom. You got it. So if they break off at the if they if you see one broken or flat at the bottom, that means it was growing up. Got it. As opposed to this way. Now we love the ones that are double terminated. These are double terminated, which means that the energy is coming out of that point, and one's coming out of that point. So what you do is you keep one. And you put it right in your pocket. How about that? Well, put it right me. in your Mercy. pocket. If you keep it in your right. pocket, it actually protects the upper part of your body and the lower part of your body. You got it? <laughs> you know, and this protects you from radiation. It protects you from long exposure to uh, being on the computer uh, or the Internet, things like that. This does do damage to the eyes. Okay? So that's why you got to bring that radiation down. So games, if you have children, I have one for my son. I make him wear it if he's on the computer too long when he's mm. doing his studies. Keeps it right around here. Got it? We have them where they can be wrapped. Uh, another one of my favorite stones. Uh, this one here is called the amethyst. Y'all know what the amethyst is? Mm -hmm. Y'all see it's a purple stone. You see it? Mm -hmm. And you can see the wrap that goes around them. They wrap them, so you wear it around your necklace right there. And, you know, amethyst is a very, uh, very strong stone. That's for high-level conscious, helps you get your mind right, get your dreams right, get your focus in order. That's what it is. They always call this one the bishop stone. The bishop stone, because the acts of the, in the uh, books of the apostles, they used to carry the amethyst. The amethyst also represented protection. Protection from things like um, things that would try to control you. You know, that's why a lot of people that wear this is for someone who's like a, had an addiction problem. You know, it happens to be the, the uh, stone for also February. For this is the stone for this month. It's called amethyst. Got it? Harbors a lot of good energy, though. Woo, a lot of good energy in this. And also helps you in heighten your um, your your ability to manifest dreams, things like that. So helps you. Energy stones, got it. So what's inside of a stone? How about crystallized plant life? 
That's what's inside of it. So this crystallized okay. plant life inside of here. So it's just been there so long that it crystallizes. And the different types of plants that actually crystallize sit there and they age and they turn into different types of stones. Mm. Wow. Mm. Dr. Paul, how do you know if you're getting the right stone? Uh, how do you know it's the real stone? Well, it's the real stone because based on where you get it from. Okay? okay. You're going to get it from someone that has been... You know, you don't want to go and get them from places like out at the mall. <laughs> you know, you don't want to go there. You want to get it from somewhere where they have a knowledge and understanding of where the stones are coming from. You know, we have what's called conflict stones. Conflict stones are, you know, we have our brothers and sisters that are in places like yes. Africa, Africa, yes, you know, uh, Asia, and also parts of Brazil that are digging for the stones, and they're doing them under distress. So mm -hmm. you don't want to have distressed stones, and that means that remember these stones harbor energy. Yeah. That if you don't believe that, what do you think runs some of these these computers? The very one you on right now is running off of some of these stones mm -hmm. and these elements. How about that? Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you know mm -hmm. that? The very the very you know phone that you have is running off of a lot of these stones. Even the Acts of the Apostles, when you look back into uh, the Bible, talks about the breastplate. That, yes, uh, yeah, that, of the Yes, the breastplate, yes. you know, back into the each stone represented a tribe yes. of the... Um, of the the tribes the ancient the israelite tribes, tribes the 12 mm -hmm. tribes of israel You're got right. it mm -hmm. so it represents something people say oh they were just trying to be bling bling they weren't trying to be bling bling they're trying to get right that means mm -hmm. that these stones line up your chakras and lines up your energy you got it so when you have certain stones it helps you concentrate it helps you focus keeps all that bad energy away from you that's why we're saying it reflects we know it reflects bad energy from coming off of these computers so if you have a child that's or yourself if it's for you you want to have something just to keep it in a place where you can keep the stones off you that's why i got them all over the place around here uh there's another one here somewhere oh yeah here. here's one right here this one this one is my last one I'm going to give you. See, I got one. I got three monitors here, and each monitor has something on it. You need to it. have one every <laughs> I got something <laughs> on each one. This one is called Amazonite. Amazonite. Uh, let me see if I can get that one. See that? Mm -hmm. It's like a color. It's like a tori, like a, it's like a crystal marine color. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. See that? It's a wonderful stone. This is actually uh, one of the one of my favorites right here because this also reflects things like radiation. Excellent for five G and for keeping in front of you. So you only have to do is just sit it right in front of your monitor. That's all you do, Doctor Paul. You know, down. going listen, going forward, folks, think about Doctor Paul mentioned five G. You know, these new cars are coming now. They're coming. Set, set up so you can get 5G in them. You're going to need these stones, guys, to mm -hmm. keep you, you know, focus and get your, keep your yeah. brain right. Because this right. is going to be riding around with you in your car anymore. Right. So, gentlemen, you can just put it right in your belt, right in your jacket. Yes, yes. You know, ladies, you can put it as a necklace. You can wear it as a bracelet, you know, as I have here. Something like that. A lot of people in electronics and things already have known this for a long time. Cuts down the ability because what happens is all this radiation is slamming against all your cells. And if it's slamming, constantly pounding your cells, that's causing damage to your... Uh, to your cellular structure in your body. So you remember they know that in places like Europe, tests are done with, uh, with electromagnetic fields. You ever had a new phone? I know everybody in here know what I'm talking about. You know, you got the box and you all happy. Woo, got my new phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you get the phone, you open it up and right on top, there's a piece, there's a pamphlet right on top, right? That's right. When you throw it away, <laughs> that part right there is what tells you that, yes, this is electromagnetic field and studies yes. show that it causes cancer. But mm -hmm. you haven't looked at it. You haven't read it. You too busy trying to get to the phone. You didn't even read it. You probably couldn't look for it, find it even after you actually threw it away. So, yes, mm -hmm. they know that um, 
electromagnetic fields cause problems because even those that were, there was one woman, I remember one study back, they were doing one study with a woman and they knew that she had, uh, she had brain, she had, um, she had brain tumors and they knew it was from the phone because when they looked at the shape of the actual tumor, it was in the shape of the phone that she used to have up against her head. Wow. It was the exact same shape. Wow. So there was no doubt it was absolutely, you know, the cancer from the phone. You got it? So now take that to the next level. That was just like around when they did that study, we were probably around 3G at that time. Now you're at what? 5G. Can you imagine what that's doing now? You got me? So keep the phones on the number one time to shut the phone when you shut the phone on put it down don't turn the phone on and go like this you got it because what that's the hottest point when it attaches to the tower mm -hmm. so these 5g towers or even if it's lte or 4g when it attaches to the tower, the hottest time that it touches is when you first turn the phone fire on. It up. Yes. When you fire it up, put it down. Got it? And in places where you can talk, like we're talking right now, use the speakerphone. If you're in your car, use your speakerphone. Got it? Try not to have the ones with the earpiece unless you have to. You got it? Unless you mm -hmm. have to. And if you do have an earpiece, you would use a small little piece. They have the little diodes that you can buy right at uh, Pollock Earth, by the way. There's little diodes that you can put right on that little earpieces. Got it? So you would put one on the earpiece, and you would put one on the back of the phone. You got it? That's what you would do. All right. Okay, that was a long way. <laughs> Wait, Dr. Paul, That's what is that part. called? You said? This one here is called Amazonite. No, no, the diode. No, the earpiece. The earpiece? No, this is like if you have like the earpiece, like if you have like a regular Bluetooth of any kind. Yeah, Bluetooth. Okay, any Bluetooth of any kind, you need to put something on the Bluetooth. Got it? Because it is actually, it is actually also grabbing a signal. So as the as the Bluetooth is grabbing a signal, it's going to incorporate any other frequencies that are around you. So if you mm -hmm. have this phone up against your head and you walk past your big 65 inch TV, mm. you're pulling in more energy radiation mm. to your phone mm. from both the 5G and your TV. You got me? Y'all yeah. got yeah, so me? What did you call that? What did you call that thing? The, to, the diode, diode or something? Yes, it's called the diode, D-I-O-D-E, D-I-O-D-E. D I O D E. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm putting things in in the chat as much as I can, guys. So, kind of keep right. along with uh, providence. All right, all right. So, so let that be something that you really put in your arsenal because you're hit with so many things. If you could just see what's around you, it mm -hmm. would amaze you. Yes, so great. as far as the mm -hmm. spectrums of light and things that are crossing you know in front of you and around you you know i would say please pay attention to your nature around you that means look at the trees look at the birds you know uh, they tell a story when you start seeing you know that new 5g across the street and then you notice that the, all the trees around there are dying, dying. there's yeah. a reason you got it there's a reason so you have to start looking up now, folks. Look up. You got them putting on top of of uh, telephone poles now mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. very inconspicuous places that you would, you know, say, "Wow, what was that?" Yep, it's a tower. Oh, it's they're a tower. disguising them, Doctor. Well, they're disguising them to make them look like trees. They're, they're disguising them to make them look like yeah, trees. That exactly. is very correct. They're disguising that is correct. Them. So, so be very correct. careful, guys. Right. So Ooh. children, I, I, I really have the reason I, I got into this conversation. You know, we didn't really even get into the topic today, but I really wanted to bring this up because of the children. You know, children have soft brains or soft skulls. So really, they should not be having any of these phones even close to their heads, mm. especially with the, uh, the any any 
wireless phone. A child should not be playing for with it for a while, for wow. for more than you know, more than fifteen twenty minutes. Really, they shouldn't be because their head, their their skulls are very soft, and therefore they can absorb a lot of this stuff into their brains. They're too small, but yet you have you know. I see you, you know parents. I I see peer, people um, taking the tablets and they're giving them to the babies and the babies are in there for hours just yes, playing on yes, these yes. things. You know, you could just take one of those little diodes, stick it right on there, and the baby wouldn't even know what it is. But it's going to bring it down. Got it? Got to bring that radiation down, family. All right? Oh. All right? Hey, family, let's talk to somebody. Let's talk yes. to some folks. Can you put the spelling of those the three uh, stones on it? Sure, Shungite. They're, yeah, they're in, they're, in the they're, chat, they're already in the chat. Yeah, they in should the be chat. in the chat. Okay, the chat. Check, if you check the chat. The chat. And, and by the way, let's, are at this, for this will be a good time to remind everyone uh, that when the program is over tonight, Dr. Paul, once he gets me the information, all of the information, the chat and everything will be available so that you'll be able to get it, if not by, by the weekend, uh, as close to the weekend as possible. OK, so you can, I'll give you my email address so you can just send it out to me and then I'll make sure that you get it right. And also remember, you can see this show. We rebroadcast this on uh, Facebook, so it will be available on Facebook. So if you got family that didn't get a chance to get in or their time, you know, not yes. able to chime in live. Uh, we're going to put this on the Dr. Paul Holistic Health Network. Right. And that's where we put all of the shows on there. So it's whether it's the family tree, uh, WURD, uh, that we do on uh, Saturdays and Sundays, we'll have all the shows there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can hey, always tune Dr. in. Paul, um, mm -hmm. All right. I'll be going to do it. The what now? Be ready to questions yet or, or not yet? Yeah, I'm going to start the questions. You start off the questions. Go ahead. <laughs> Since you asked, you Since and you asked. Amen. <laughs> hey, I love all y'all. Hey, man, nobody tell you ain't tell you ain't tell everybody you could play the piano like that, man. This brother can really sing. I heard you the other day, man. You are really good. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, are, you have an anointed okay, voice, my brother. You have an anointed voice. Yeah. God, is, God, when everything open up, I play for you. Yes, right, yes, right, absolutely. Right. So, what's your question tonight? Oh, God bless you. I, I want to get, I want to get promoted. Doc, so, you mean you can share my video? You can still look at my video. Okay, it's cool. Promote. <laughs> okay. Amen. God, God is a so plug. God. That's I like right. The Lord, but my question is, um, uh, <clears throat> my question is about MS. What can you do to, uh, I guess, you know, I know we don't, you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's yeah, right. you, said, you, you said you said you said MS, right? Yeah, MS. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm multiple right. sclerosis. Okay, is <clears throat> you have what's called the autonomic system. Your autonomic system is uh is like your motor skills. It's things that you don't have to think about automatically happen. Like when you go to bed, you go to sleep, you don't have to think about breathing. You automatically breathe, right? Mm -hmm. When you eat mm -hmm. food, you don't have to think about digestion. You automatically mm -hmm. digest food. That's all there part you of your right. autonomic system. So what happens is that's mm -hmm. your walking, talking, you know, sort of like balance, all those things. But sometimes you can get damage in that area where it damages what's called the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath. Okay, the myelin mm. sheath is like a coating over your your extension cord like like you ever had i always use the example like an extension cord and then you have the extension cord hooked to a light and you shake the extension cord and the light flickers that means there's a break in that line mm -hmm. that's literally like multiple sclerosis there's a break in the line mm -hmm. so what's happening is oh. now it causes things like tremors you ever see anybody shaking like that you know like ali See, that's all part yes, of that exactly. family. Parkinson's, yeah. ALS, Lou Garrett's, multiple sclerosis, damaging the myelin sheath. Now, in most cases that I'm seeing now, I'm seeing a lot of young folks coming through family, and a lot of them are having these issues. When we put them on the RN3A, they're, they're like this. They're shaking like a leaf, and they, they don't know what's going on. It's damage to the myelin sheath. We have to do a little detective work to find out What's causing the damage that penetrate to break that line that's causing that tremor? So sometimes it can be environmental. Mm. Sometimes it can be, um, it can be uh, food. It can be sugar. 
I'm going to tell y'all, yeah, refined sugar, too much sugar. You got it? Too much refined white sugar. It can also be fillings from your teeth. Some people have heavy metal still in their mouth. Anybody still got heavy metal in the mouth for your fillings? Okay. Yes, you may want to start to think about pulling them out or getting them removed. Getting replaced. Because when you, when you have that problem in the, remember, the, they used to put mercury in your mouth, but now mercury is a banned element. You cannot process mercury. You remember children used to play with this, Bill? Mm -hmm. yeah. children, children used to literally play with this stuff. So what happens now, they have to remove it because it's a banned element now. That's mm -hmm. why you don't mm -hmm. see, you don't see uh, mercury uh, blood pressure monitors anymore. You don't see the mercury thermometers, do you? No, you don't. Or the mercury temperature mm -hmm. monitors. You ever see that? You say yes. when the mercury is rising, you know, that means it's hot outside, right? So what's happening? They had to remove this because it's toxic and it's poison. But yet people still have it in their mouths and in their teeth. Mm -hmm. So you're, as you're every day sucking on that, you're grabbing that little bit of that mercury ion or metal ion, and it's in the blood, causes blood issues, damages your autonomic mm -hmm. system. It can damage the autonomic mm -hmm. system. You got it? So keep in mind that when you, that could be environmental. It can also be sugar. Mm -hmm. It can be something where you could be also the environment in which you work. It could be... Um, a lot of times it can be something like, uh, you know, you're in construction, you're in industry, you're mm -hmm. in military, something like that. It could be one of those also. And last but not least, probably the most popular one, shellfish. Well, mm -hmm. here we go again. Here we go yes, again, guys. Here we go. Tell the truth now. Wow. Shellfish. Shellfish is probably the highest that I've seen. And the commonality that people, I'm going to have to mute you there because you're getting a little loud, okay? I'm just going to mute you. I'm just going to let you listen, okay? Uh, a lot of these shellfish tend to be the biggest problem because of where they're dredging the shellfish from. You remember? The Bible says you ain't supposed to have them anyway. That's right. You know, that's the bottom of the ocean. Y'all hear me say about this all the time. So this ain't new to those who hear me all the time. I say you got to watch that shellfish, man. You know, and I can tell you, I'm just like everybody else. I remember when I used to sit on Friday night with the newspaper on the middle of the table and nothing but crab legs everywhere and everybody got crab juice flying everywhere. Hey, y'all know what this thing is. We I'm just going to tell it like it is. But I had to get off of it. You remember you used to call it dead man? You can eat that, but don't eat the dead man. <laughs> Why do you think they call it dead man? Because well, it was so poison that that would cause blood poisoning. Blood. That's exactly Got right. Got it? That's what it do. And you're going to be dead. That's what it is. So just keep in mind, you know, the shellfish, where they're dredging them from, contaminated beds where all the oil spills are. So... Uh, Brother Frank, that's what I would recommend. You got to find out. It's a little detective work. Uh, RM3A that I do, which is the testing, does test the autonomic system. So we can tell if there's some kind of, you know, uh, stress in that area. Okay. But what do we use for it? And I got one more question. I got one more question. Sorry. I was about um, to tell you what you can start to okay. use for uh, for yeah, issues oh, to repair that line. Okay. okay. So yeah, first go off, you got to stay off. You got to stay off of those certain foods. Top 10 toxic foods, right? Go to that list on my website, drpaulherbs.com. Go to download top 10 toxic foods. Stay away from them. Got it? That's your thing because that would be the trigger. Shellfish is on that list, okay? Next thing, I would use something like, and not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease, just food for the soul. I want to give you glucosamine. Glucosamine, okay? Glucosamine with chondroitin and you can also buy it with msm it's a combination that you can get okay that's also for inflammation that's also for you know hip knee joint ligament connective tissue all of that that's a good one to start with okay that's what we have to help to repair that that central nervous system 
but also that's for hearing also. If you have issues with uh, hearing issues, that's helping to clear up issues with hearing, things like ringing, tinnitus, things like that, which is ringing in the ears. Mm -hmm. It's All right. glucosamine and chondroitin, is that what you said, Dr. Yes, Hill? glucosamine with chondroitin, yes, okay. MSM and mm -hmm. MSM. It's like three, and it comes in a liquid form. You okay. can buy that in most of the herbal stores. Okay, okay. great. Okay. All right. All right, brother Farouk, I got to go to somebody else, okay? Come on back, all right? Come on back with another question, all right? All right, I got, uh, we got Prophetess Lisa on here. Prophetess? Hey, Dr. Paul, how are you, everybody? Very Hello. Quick, uh, two questions I had already put in the chat box. One was, um, how often, when you gave the hair formula last week, how often should you treat your hair with that hair formula? And what herbs can be taken to either dissolve or help pass kidney stones. Yes. Okay. Um, what hair formula did I give out last week? <laughs> I forget one. which one. I did, did I give one out last week? Well, no. you, no, you didn't give it out. We talked, about, we talked about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. The you cayenne gave it pepper. Out a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, the cayenne pepper. You can use that uh, as often as you want to. Remember, everything we talk about here is food, so you can't right. go wrong. Here's the great thing about it. You can't mess up. How about that? Ain't that good? It's all food. So what you're doing is you want to exfoliate and grab the ability to open up those pores. Remember, it's about circulation. You remember we talked about growing hair, mm -hmm. strengthening hair has everything to do with what? Circulation. circulation. There's a circulation issue going on. Can't push it to the top. It's going against, you know, the pressure of the heart to try to get to the top of the head. Got it? So that's why we would use that. All right. Dr. Paul, you didn't tell you didn't give us the um the formula? amount of the use. You get yeah, the formula. You gave us the formula, but you didn't tell us how much to use. Okay, so give me what you have. What did we talk about? Remember? Because we I'll, talked I'll about the it. I'll post it in the chat it. box and it does have the instructions of what to use. I'll post it in the Yeah, see what okay, happens good. is now now, now I want to just help out some somebody who's listened to the very first time. This is for hair growth strengthening hair and revitalizing your hair. Now there are situations where there may be, you know, uh, issues where your hair was stressed. Okay. With things like traction alopecia, you know, with like the braids, sisters alopecia. wearing braids or brothers wearing braids too tight. Got it. And it will pull that out. So it may cause damage to the scalp. So we're trying to regenerate the scalp to start to grow again. You got it? So what it ha what has to happen? Some people have different textures of the scalp than others. Some are very light, some of them are, you know, as softer, some of them are hard. Got it? So, prophetess, I think you put them in there in the chat box for everyone to see. Does everybody see that? Can everybody see it? Bill, I don't know why I'm not looking at my chat box. Where's my chat box? Yes, I, I have them, uh, I've got them all here. The food okay. is coconut oil, castor oil, oh, yeah, aloe vera gel, lavender chat oil. Right. So, right. Coconut oil, castor oil, aloe vera gel, lavender oil, right. cayenne pepper. Those are the ones. And remember, you want to take a glove, but everyone has a different coverage space at their covering. Some people may just want, you know, the front part of their head, some have the top, some, it, it may be sectional. So you really don't have a specific amount, Diane, that actually is going to be for each person. So it's based on the coverage area you do. But I will t tell you this, you want to maximize the coconut oil, the castor oil, and the aloe vera as your base. Got it? Yeah. So that yeah. will determine how much you would use all over your head. Then you take the lavender oil, which is really just a matter of small amounts of drops. And the cayenne pepper is the most important point because the cayenne has to be able to what? When you remember, when cayenne enters Dangle. the body, it dilates. Remember? Mm -hmm. Dilates. It opens up. It opens up pores. It opens up uh, arteries and veins. It does everything. That's nitric oxide. Not nitrous oxide. That's laughing gas, y'all. Nitric <laughs> <Yes>. oxide. <laughs> Got it? Got it? Nitric oxide. 
So what that does, it dilates. So it has to dilate to allow the coconut, the castor oil, and the aloe vera, and the lavender all to get in to do their job. And then after a while, you're going to be like, yo, I got a little afro going on. What's up, (laughs) y'all? You might have a little something growing. Hey, I've seen some things, y'all. I've seen some things. People start getting it back. So, yes, it depends on the coverage in the space that you're trying to cover, okay? What about All right. tea tree oil? Tea tree oil. Mm-hmm. I use that. Tea tree oil. Mm-hmm. Tea tree oil. Yes. T- tea tree oil is a natural antibiotic, okay? The best tea tree oil is found in Australia, okay? So when you buy it, make sure it's from Australia. Got it? No additives to it. Straight tea tree oil. You got it? All right. Okay. Um, Prophetess, did you have another question on that? What was the other one? The other question was what herbs or what can you take to um, help dissolve or help pass kidney stones? Yes, kidney stones. We gave a few out. Um, You know, I gave that. um, Did we give out the uh, I thought we gave that out. I gave some of this stuff out. Didn't I remember uh, giving the uh, the flush and everything? Mm -hmm. I gave you all the flush, right? Oh, yes, the kidney flush, yes. Yeah, the kidney flush, yeah. You can do the and kidney that'll flush. Stones, that'll pass stones. That'll pass stones. But let me tell you what. <laughs> y'all going y'all gonna to crack up at this, but you remember I tell you, it's always something simple that confounds the, always the, does. the, the wise. You know, on the show last week on Saturday morning, I had a brother that called in. I don't know if y'all heard the show on Saturday morning um, on WURD, but I had a brother that came to me with the same question. And and, we, and I did a special on that week, specifically on um, celery. I did celery, celery, absolutely. Celery actually cleans the kidneys. So what did they do? They just took something simple like celery juice and just, and just kept juicing. He said the guy went to the doctor and the doctor told him, like, hey, you know, you know, uh, you you're going to have to probably go on dialysis because your kidneys are failing. Mm -hmm. And then he says, well, you know, he told his friend and his friend said, well, hey, I just heard the show. Doc was giving out and he told just take the celery and just keep juicing. So he bought his friend a juicer. Ain't that awesome? That is awesome. He bought his friend a juicer and (laughs) said, go and just get going. And his buddy just did it. That's all he did. He said he did it for about, I guess it was about a week or two or maybe a month. Went back to the doctor. They said, man, ain't nothing wrong with your kidneys. Your kidneys is back. I know that's right. I know that's right. Wow. And I said, man, you saved that boy's life. You bought him a juicer. What a friend. (laughs) You know, because you don't want to go into this dialysis thing, family. Let me tell you, dialysis is something that uh, we know that is coming from concentrated fruit foods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stay away from the refined sugar, refined salt, refined oil. Get your water in. You got it? But you can do something like, uh, Prophetess, I would say start with the celery. You just juice it. Number nine, get some organic celery. You can add an apple to that. I would say you can add an apple. Apple is always not too bad of a fruit to add. Mm-hmm. Then just juice it and just have it as a morning drink every morning, mm-hmm. you know, or once or twice a day if you're facing some kind of uh, kidney issue. Got it? Now, the other one was um, I mentioned was um, uh, we talked about Uva Ursi, mm-hmm. Uva Ursi, U-V-A. U R S I. Y'all remember that? Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to y'all for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, right? I was saying, Yo, y'all just want to hear me say it again. That's all. <laughs> That's all. That's all. I'm, trying, I'm trying to save my words, and y'all just are making me do it all over again. All right. Here's I'm going to you do Uva Ursi, U-V-A, U-R-S-I, not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease, just food for the soul family. All right. All right. All right. I want to give a shout out to everybody. We're about 150 people in here, 153 all together. Yes, sir. All, yes, right. Sir. all right. Good to see everybody. So Uva Ursi, Uva Ursi, that's a good one. That's the one that keeps the kidneys clean. Okay. 
also dandelion root. I would definitely don't sleep on the dandelion root. Okay, dandelion. Mm-hmm. And we did have a kidney flush, and the kidney flush was um, half a cup of fresh lemon juice. In the chat box. Okay, you got it already. Yep. Okay, good, good. All right there. All right, good, good. So, <laughs> so everybody see it in the chat box? I can see it on this hand. Can everyone else see it? Nope. Yes. Okay. Yes. If if you cannot, it's, it's there, guys. So just know it's there. It's there. It's there. It's actually in this in the uh it's in the chat, chat box. box. So just remember, if you want these this information, just send send the, an email to me. And I'll make sure that you get it. Sure to have it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can get all of the chat notes. Okay. So that's good, Bill. All right. Excuse so uh, yeah. all right. Thank you, Prophetess. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, hey, family. We, we got Helen. Helen. Hi, Doctor Paul. Hi. How are you? Good and good evening, everyone. Hi. I have a few. Good evening, Bill. I have a few uh, questions. The first question is in regards to in hair growth. Like some women, as they grow older, they may have like a little mustache or a little beard growing mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know what can remove that. Mm-hmm. Well, um, when you're talking about you know the stubble and things like that that you're seeing around, is that what you're speaking about? Like the hair. Are you seeing, you know, you know, like some women, they have like a little mustache growing in on there. Mm-hmm, and underneath mm-hmm, the chin mm-hmm. is a little bit of hair that comes in. I don't know whether it's hereditary yeah, or that's, something like that. That's, har- that's all hormones. That's hormones right there. Imbalance of testosterone. You have those, you have testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. So there's like a cycle, the rhythm. So we go back into uh, hormones, you know, going back to thyroid again. Got it. Thyroid regulating the thyroid. So you're talking about thyroid is weight, temperature, pressure issues. Got it. Weight, temperature, pressure issues. So whenever that's going on, you want to start to go with those herbs that balance hormones. One would be called blessed thistle. Blessed thistle. Blessed thistle. Okay. Another one would be uh, red raspberry. Okay, red raspberry. Okay. Okay, we also have uh, another one would be black cohosh. And if I were to give you one more, it would be called angelica root. Okay, those are for hormone balance and issues but it also goes back to uh liver so we want to make sure there's no congestion in the liver okay okay so we start to clean the liver clean the liver you start to see a lot of changes going back back in the balance the liver's doing all a lot of this stuff you know the sort of like sending the signals and you know firing off but also the pineal gland the hypothalamus pituitary. It's like that grand triangle we talk about. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, you know, issues with hormones. A lot of that happens, believe it or not, from it's the sugar, y'all. Y'all got to watch the sugar. Watch Mm -hmm. the sugar. Sugar throws off hormones, refined sugar, refined salt, refined oils. Got it? There's two. Since we're right there, Helen, is is that good? You get it? You got that, right? Yes, but I have some other questions, too. Okay, give me. I'll take you. I'll take one more, and then I gotta move on. What's what's that? All right. So the next question is in regards to eye health. Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> as you go older, there's cataracts. That was one part, and the other part is like that blue that that's around the eye. You know how it it goes around the layer mm-hmm. of the eye. Mm-hmm. What causes that, and what can you do to treat that? And then as you grow older, your eyes get dimmer, and right. they say carrots is supposed to help you with your eyesight to get it stronger, but you're saying carrots are not, you know, good, right? Well, uh, you got to take it in perspective. Okay. Um, let me unpack that. First off, whenever you see mucus in the eye, that's all it is. When you see cataracts, that's mucus in the eye. And that means that the eye is not detoxing properly. You know, I always give everyone the, the sign and the warnings. Starts with when you wake up in the morning and you no longer see that crust that's in the in, inside of the eyes or around the eyes. You know, this, they, they call it sleep. They say, the Sandman, you see me at night. You see me in the morning, right? 
when you don't see that, that's when the eye is detoxing, is coming out. But when you don't see it, where is it going? It's backing up in the eye. Got it? Mm. So that means that the ducts are probably blocked. A lot of the ducts are happening or getting blocked, or you have these cranial arteries that are leading to the eyes that tend to get blocked because going back to sugar again, sugar mm. every time, refined mm -hmm. white Goodness. sugar, you know, having addiction to too much of the sugars. Also, usually it's a systemic problem. So mm -hmm. it's usually someone that's already having issues with high blood pressure and already whenever this mm -hmm. affecting the eyes, it's usually already an issue going on with the blood pressure somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, usually arteries are starting to shrink. And that's because when you have that refined sugar, refined salt or refined oils, guess what it's doing? It's shrinking, it's shrinking it down, shrinking those mm -hmm. holes down. So now they get smaller, they get blocked. Nothing can get through. Now you can't detox backs up in the eye. And when it backs up in the eye, that's the mucus. Got it. That's the mucus. Mm -hmm. Now, when the mucus box up in there, next thing you know, now pressure starts to build up. Now the sides of your eyes start to hurt. That's where, and yes, where glaucoma comes from. Got it. That's the glaucoma. Got it. Pressure on the side of the eyes. So all it means is that you got you got to pull that gunk out of the eye. Got it. So you got to stay off those top 10 toxic foods. Go to that list, family. Yes, yes. Top 10 toxic foods. Stay off I, of it. I, I put that list in the chat also, Dr. Right. Cole, so they can right. find it. Top 10 toxic foods. Stay off of it. And then at the same time, what you want to do, just make sure that you're drinking enough water. Okay? Make sure you drink enough water. And with the water, make sure that when you're detoxing the eye, we actually go back to washing the eye. Uh, washing the eye is one of the best things you can do. It used to be a time they should take the eyeglass and just, uh, you know, Dr. Paul, flush the eye. Mm -hmm. Someone has a question for you. Yeah, hold on. I got I got to take this. Right. Okay. Okay. So what's happening is when you're flushing the eye, okay, you got to take that water, flush that eye. You know, make sure anybody know how to use eyeglass. Everybody know how to use eyeglass, right? You would think so. Yeah, yeah. Somebody going like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, make sure that when you use the eyeglass, remember this specific one, I recommend uh, this thing called Dr. Christopher's Eye Bright Formula. And everybody yes. knows that if you've heard, listened to me before, I've talked about that many times. Dr. Christopher's Eye Bright Formula is a combination of herbs that are used specifically for unblocking those areas in those areas of the eye. So, for example, if you have like uh, it has uh, it has uh, red raspberry in there, it has bilberry in there. It also has in there golden seal. OK, Eye Bright. These are all herbs for the eyes. And the last thing, it's got a little cayenne pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, little cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is used because what? It dilates, Two opens up, and then that's what allows all that good stuff to get in there. Just like we said with the hair formula, same thing with the eyes. It's always used to open up the pores, allows that stuff to get in. Now starts to treat the eye. You got me? So... Uh, those are just some of the things, Alan, that you can do. Uh, right. There is there is also a formula. Um, what is it called? The Outback. The Outback. Hold on for a second. There's a book that if anyone has uh, eye problems, uh, there's a great book. And let me see if I can grab it real quick for you. It's called, and it's, and it's by a guy who did a research study. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I think I might be able to get it for you. He did a study, and the study, I can find it probably on my phone. He did a study where he went around the world and saw how some people had eye problems and how some people just never had it. So he went to areas of the 
uh, the Polynesians and things like that. And, mm -hmm. and they found out that they didn't have any issues. They had like a perfect, you know, vision that was even better than 2020, like 2010, wow. things like wow. that. And they were like, wow. what is going on here? What are these people doing? It was their diet. And there was uh -huh. two things that they were using. So he came up with this book. And let me grab this book for you. And this book is out of sight. And when I say out of sight, family, I really do mean this book is out of sight. It is a great book for eye health. Um, it's called The Outback. Let me see if I can find it. The Outback. Mm, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me just overlook y'all real quick. The Outback. Yes, it's the Outback. Uh, I don't see him here. I'm going to see if I can find it while what, we're doing this. What's his name, Dr. Who's the author? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to find the author. Um, I'm going to find it for y'all, okay? Before we leave, I'll be, and if I don't, I will post it, okay? It's an Outback uh, I formula, and for some reason, my phone is not pulling it up. It's under my books, all my books and tablets. Is it the Outback uh, Vision Protocol? There it is. That's it. The Outback Vision Protocol. That's it okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Give them the name of the author there, Bill. Okay, let me see. The Bill, Bill Campbell. Bill Campbell. Yes. You got to get that book. That's for anyone who has uh, issues with their eyes, you know, okay. and that includes things like, uh, you know, diabetes, but also issues with uh, glaucoma, anything going on with uh, cataracts. That's what you want to get. OK, mm -hmm. that's your that's yours right there, family. That's what including the blue around the eye surface. Well, remember, the blue around the eyes is still mucus. That's all mucus. See, and that's why when we do iridology, we read the eyes. You can see where that that's colon. The one that you're talking about is colon. That's the imprint for colon. Whenever you see that outer rim, like a film around the eye, like a circle, mm -hmm. that's actually specifically pointing to detoxing of the intestines. Got it? Maybe I'll show y'all one day and we can make that a class. I'll bring in an iridology charts that we use to show you how every part of your body is connected. We can read every part of your body and tell you exactly what's going on with you. So that's one that we would use. So, um, all right. All right. So Helen. instead of eat one, mm -hmm. one last thing, instead of eating carrots, what is good to strengthen the no, eyes? No. Cause as you... we get older, we mm -hmm. need glasses to read a little fine print. Right. So you can use something like, um, you know, you can always have beta carotene. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause that's the essence of what's in there. Vitamin A beta carotene flips, the liver flips it to vitamin A. Okay. So vitamin A would be good. Bilberry mm -hmm. is also good. Everything I was naming in that Dr. Christopher formula, eye bright. Okay. There's another one called lutein. Lutein, L-U-T-E-I-N, lutein, okay? And there's also, uh, there's another one. There's a formula that you can buy. Let me see if I can find it. And this is uh, lutein. Uh, I always have a problem. I always forget which one this one is. U-T-E-N-N. -N. All right. The there's another element that you know in this outback uh, vision protocol, you're going to see this other one called zeaxanthin, and I'm gonna spell that for you: z e a x a n t h i n. You got it. So lutein and zeaxanthin. That's actually what's found. The thing can be found in things like kale. It can also be found in some, um, like uh, the seaweeds and things like that. 
Okay, but you can buy it in a formula where you get lutein and zeaxanthin all in one. Very powerful, helps with uh, preparing that. Is that Laverne? What you got there, Laverne? You got to come off mute. Is that what has it in there? Yes, mm -hmm. ICAP. It's, it's ICAP. You get it over the counter at Walmart Pharmacy, and it's got some of those things that you named. You just named those. All right. right? All right. Let, let, let me see it one more time. Let me see it one more time. It's got lutein and zexatrin. Okay. Zexatrin, right. Yeah. So let me ask you now, are those, what kind of, uh, what kind of caps are those? It's are a, they? It's a, it's a pill. Like a hard cap? A hard cap. Mm -mm, throw that in the trash. Huh. <laughs> no, don't mess with that one. I'm glad I talked to you. Mm -mm, I'm glad. I'm glad you showed us. Yes. No, please. don't mess with that, and All definitely right, don't buy nothing from Walmart, y'all. Got okay. it. You got All it. Right. See, when you want to buy, number one, buy your energy and your nutrients from places that made the commitment to be organic. Okay. See, you're gonna get things like that. See, that's a perfect example right there. It's a good product. It's got the right angle but see they take it and they flip it see they just broke the rules the broke the rules is that it's a hard caplet yeah. your ph your ph has to be perfect to break that down or else you're going to look in your poop and you're going to find it you got it oh. so it never breaks down that's oh, the problem right. so right. you have to have you have to have stuff that's bioavailable that uh, breaks down in the system so capsules capsules with the herbs inside got it helen what, yes. What name yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Right. So Very you want the capsules. So you want the capsules with the herbs. Okay. When you have it hard like that, remember it. Something has to mold that thing to get it hard, and that's only going to be heat. Got it. And whenever there's heat, there's dissipation of minerals. So now that loses energy. Remember, anything you put heat to loses minerals. Right. So. So I'm glad you I'm glad you showed us that. So go to the herb store right. and get you the same thing right. with the lutein and the zeaxanthin. Got yeah. it? And get yes. it in the capsule form. Yes. As we get older, we want things that are what's called bioavailable. What's yes. that mean? That means I don't have to work to get my energy. You got it? I don't have to work to get my energy. I want it to go directly into the bloodstream, and that's what it does. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you that so was, much. Yeah, that was a good question, Helen. Thank you so much. You. All right. All right. Who we have here? And if you've already spoken, uh, you can put your hand down in the chat room over here. I'm just going to go right from the top here and the lower your hands. Uh, Bill, you got anybody online there? Anything mm -hmm. online? Or no, I, actually, I think you've covered everything that, that we've had here on mm -hmm. in the chat area. So if you, have, okay. if you have things there, then just come on up with it. Okay, I got, Cec hey, I got Cecilia. Paul. I got Cecilia. Hey, Dr. Paul. Okay, let me grab them in line. I got to grab them right the way they're coming through, okay? So My I hand right has been up. Okay, I have your I got a whole lot of hands up right now. <laughs> I got Cecilia right now. Cecilia? Dr. Paul, hi, family. Hi, yes, Cecilia. how you doing? Um, I'm good. I just had two questions about food. Okay. Um. One was, I know that white, white rice is not good for us, but is black rice and purple rice okay? Yes, absolutely. Just as long as it's not refined, right? No refined. Right. No refined rice. Got it? So that means this bleach white, you know, we know that it's it, when they strip all the energy out of it, it's no longer good to you. Who's the greatest refiners? We are. Got it? We are the greatest refiners. So you don't want to have food that's already been processed. And that's exactly what. How do you know rice? Right? Excuse me. How do you know rice is not refined? Okay. The color you, you, first of all, you got to read. You <laughs> said, said it right there. And then make sure, and yeah, yeah. You got to, you got to make sure that is when you see them, it would say unrefined yeah. or Stop raw. Like that. Got it. You got to keep that in there. Okay. So, Keep in mind, though, a lot of people are pushing, the, of course, the white rice because the white rice has been something that, like, for example, let me give you a real quick example. Like in Liberia, right? In Liberia, West Africa, they actually are harvesting all of this rice in the rice fields. They're harvesting brown rice. 
they ship it to they, they don't use it they don't even eat it they actually ship it over to europe mm. they process okay, it right. they process it right process it yeah. bleach it and sell it back. it back to the librarians wow. Oh. And they buy it. Oh, that's bad. Yes, Africa, it's the yeah, same. Africa. It's mm -hmm. the same rice. They're selling it back to them refined because they got them believing that white rice is better rice. Our that's ball, crazy. It's, 22, 22. it's their rice. Yes, right. <laughs> the rice okay, is coming I got home. Question, Dr. Paul. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, I know you told me about getting the mushroom coffee. Ganoderma, right. I finally got it. I'm surprised that I really like the taste of it. All right now. See there? I forgot. I well, forgot. Why, the, why is better than the other coffee? Why is it better than the other coffee? Because remember, it's alkaline. It's a mushroom coffee. As opposed to the other ooh, coffees, ooh. which are, you know, mm -hmm. you oh, found in different parts of they can be found in different parts of the world. You want it closer to the equator. Remember? You remember that conversation? Remember, if you're closer to the equator, that's the hottest place on the planet. So that means that the the coffees that are like the Kenyan, the Ethiopian, the Brazilian, uh, Peruvian, you know, all of those coffees along that line and below the line tend to be more alkaline. They're lowest acidity. The higher above that, less light high acidity so that means that they tend to be a lot more acidic and that can cause a lot of problems with a lot of people so if you do the ganoderma that's the mushroom the mushroom is much better because the mushroom is good for you know number one it's alkaline it's a plant they grind it down just like you would do regular coffee grinds and when you take it it alkalizes your system it's the opposite of what the, the other coffees are doing got it so that's why it's a better coffee. Keeps you alkaline. Plus, it's good for your brain. It's good for dementia. It's good for Alzheimer's. You know, things like that. Okay? Gotcha. Okay. All right. You remember the conversation, right? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Who do we have here? I have Dorman. Is that Dorman? Joanne? Joanne Dorman. Hey, Joanne. Joanne going once. Joanne, you there? Joanne going twice. I'll take her spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had All to right. and come back in. That's why I said that. Oh, okay. I got you. All right. Well, we got to go with Troy then. Troy? Thank you, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Troy. How are you? All right. Quick question: What herbs do you suggest to take for a metal cleanse uh, from prescription drugs and also over-the-counter medication? And also, does this assist when you take vaccines? Because some, some employers require that you have to take them. Okay, let's unpack that slowly. For the first one, you said was metal. Did you say metal? Correct. Okay, like heavy metals or soft right. metals or just metals in general. Heavy metals like some prescription drugs, pills, headache pills, stuff like that. Okay, any metals that are coming into the system, you want to, you can pull them out by chelation. You have a natural chelation in the body, and it's called, and not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease, it's food for the soul. It's called glutathione. Okay, glutathione. G L U T A T H I O N E. Okay, glutathione. Glutathione is being used now for helping to detox people from not only heavy metals, but it also can drag sort of like a drag, you know, it drags out this stuff like the heavy metals, toxins, chemicals, poisons in the body. It's naturally produced by the body, but if you have high testosterone levels, you don't make a lot of glutathione. So men temp usually men typically do not make a lot of glutathione if they have, which in most cases, high testosterone levels. And who has the highest testosterone levels on the planet would definitely be African-American men. Got it? That's why it was, it was uh, understood that those that uh, took the MMR2 shot, 
they came out with a study and showed that it was injuring boys of color yes, more, more than, than anyone on the planet yes. because oh, oh, boys don't make a lot of glutathione. So whenever they took the shots, they were getting injured. This was all the part of uh, a, a, um, a testimony that was given to the CDC by one of their own. And he basically said, you know, I just got to tell the truth. It's injuring black, black boys. And why? Because it was the glutathione not making a lot. So what can you do? You can raise your glutathione by, you can buy glutathione right in your herbal store. Okay. Uh, you can also raise the glutathione by getting any sea vegetables, sea vegetables. That's another reason why we use the things like the kelp, the chlorella, spirulina, you know, the sea moss. It's like a dragnet. It pulls all that stuff right out of you, your natural chelation. You know, some people would do also what's called an EDTA, which is a form of intravenous pulling out. It works also, but I'd rather say do it naturally. You got it? So that would be the one question, okay? Uh, what was the other question that you had, Troy? Uh, does it assist when, when you take vaccines that require from the employer, like, of course, the COVID uh, shot, mm -hmm. flu shot, which I don't like really getting. Uh, but they require you get it. Does it assist with that as well? No. Yes. If you if you remember now, you do have the rights to opt out. Okay. Even if they tell you that you got to have it or you lose your job or that your child will get dismissed from school or you won't, you know, kicked out of school. That's not totally true. Um, that's if you don't do something. You have to declare your position. Even if you're first responder in the areas of hospitals and things. <laughs> They want you. Oh, wow. Who is that? Oh, my goodness. Somebody need a herb over there. <laughs> you got a herb for that. We got an herb for that. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, you can actually use. Um, there is an international rights that you have. It's called the Sanitary Act. Right. And from the Sanitary Act, you have the rights of refusal of any um, procedure. But you must declare your position, which means you have to do, declare a position by presenting a document and opt out. So Pennsylvania right now still has opt out clauses for any and all vaccines, whether for medical or religious exemption. I would tell you to use religious exemption because remember, anything that breaks the skin cause, may cause or make you more susceptible to infections if you break the skin. So that's why the UN says you can't just invade somebody's body. You have to have their consent. You got me? So that's the truth of the matter. So you can opt out, number one. If you come, if it comes to a point where they say you got to have this shot and y'all say, well, I'm not going to have this shot. I want you to tell you that there's more going to be going on in the world than just making you get the shot. It's going to be in the level of, of martial laws and everything else. They're really mm -hmm. going to have to press this thing down the field. So even if you know that you can't fight the system and you're caught up in the system, if you take the shot, you just have to make it confirmed in your mind that I'm not mm -hmm. consenting to this and I'm being made to take this. And then, then we would do things like the glutathione and then those things that we just talked about. Got it? And to clean it out the best way you can. And this is also for travel too. Family, do not start traveling right now. If you are someone, be very careful where you're traveling right now because the tests are different all over. Everywhere. So you may be negative here but you're gonna be positive somewhere else and you're gonna mm -hmm. get stuck there you got me don't do anything right now hold off from traveling if you can all right uh troy i don't know if i answered all your questions there buddy yeah you did thank you okay, okay. all right so just remember declare your position you have to give them a document got it say that i declare my position it is now on file so if anyone ever tries to harass you past that you can say, hey, my 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 declaration is on file. Mm -hmm. If you keep asking or pondering me on this situation, that now moves into harassment. Got it? This is your right. You can even punch in your state, Pennsylvania, and you punch in Pennsylvania option out clause. It is the law right now. There are only a few that you cannot. That's California, uh, Mississippi. West Virginia, New York City, 
And right now, I believe that uh, Jersey is a bill. I don't have the updates on what that is, but there's a bill in Jersey right now. So if you're calling from Jersey, that's something you got to keep your eyes on. Got it? Mm -hmm. But New York, you can no longer opt out for religious or medical exemptions in, um, in those states. Got it? All right. All right. Uh, everybody's so quiet right now. It's everybody's so quiet. Everybody, listen, process them. Well, I, I think it's my turn. turn. Okay, I have I have now Cinnamon Stevens. You don't see my name up there? I don't Why know is? who who is that. <laughs> who is that? That sounds like somebody I named named Flo. I, I, don't, I'm I don't see your name on here nowhere. You <laughs> way down hot, there. That, that's because it's hot down there where she is, and we got. That's snow. right. You know, <laughs> Florida goes last. Let me get. I'm time. only playing. I'm only playing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come at you, Flo. After this one, Cinnamon. Okay. Hello. Okay, How good. are you? Good. Good. So I just had a quick question about um, getting your wisdom teeth removed. Mm. And I just want to get your opinion. Also, if you recommend any like herbs, or, I mean herbs that would be good for that, um, because uh, my doctor recommended that I get them taken out. Mm. Wow. So um, where are they coming in? <laughs> Bottom. So uh, two of them, the top are like partially. Um, out and then the bottom two are not out, um, but one of them is impacted and they're coming in horizontal. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's the one that's going to have the the issue right there. Which side? What side do you chew on? Uh, I guess I feel like I chew more on my right. Okay. And what side is this thing coming in that's horizontal? The left side. The left side. Okay, so if you're chewing, you, are you sure you don't chew on the left side or you chew I, on the right side? You're um, not sure. To be honest, I'm not sure. You don't even think uh -huh. about it, Dave. <laughs> no, I really don't. I don't. When you ask it, I don't even think about it. <laughs> well, well, what happens usually, the gum is very tough on your chew side because you chew over there the most. So that's okay. the hardest side that's going to be coming through. That's the one that always is the most painful because it's tougher. <laughs> So when it comes through, that thing's cutting through like a knife and you just feeling everything, every bit of it. The heart starts thumping and like I mean, when I when my tooth came in, it was like the most painful thing in the world. So there are um there are some natural organic gum treatments that you can do. Okay. All right, write this down, family. This is a good one. All right. So what you want to do, um, I'm going to give you the herbal one and then there's a cream for it, but I got to find the cream. Okay. And, um, first thing you try not to move them. If you don't have to, you know, that, um, it's just been Western European, uh, science that says to remove them. But remember your every your mouth is connected to an organ in your body. So your wisdom tooth, whether, whether from the top and the bot or the bottom, they all represent balance. How about that? Wow. Okay. Equilibrium. You know, that's why when people get them out, they start to get what? Whoa. Woozy, woozy, woozy. Whoa. Yes. Because it's dealing with, um, it's dealing with equilibrium and balance. Okay. So I would recommend, uh, number one, to make sure that it doesn't get infected. Okay. This is a combination of herbs that I would use. Not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease. It's food for the soul. And you would make it like a little, you can make it like a little, uh, like a, like a, you could take in capsule form or get the powders. Got it. And I would use like a little plate. You can use like a plate. And you would take these three herbs. One would be golden seal root. Okay, golden okay. seal root, black walnut. Okay, black walnut. Okay. And uh, there is uh, just just those two right there. That, those two okay. right there. Okay. And okay. you would use a cotton ball. Okay, Bill, I got you. And I would use the cotton ball. Use a little bit of water on the plate to make a paste out of it. Okay. And then you would take that and add it to, oh, the last one would be turmeric. I'm sorry, turmeric. Okay. So golden seal, 
right? Golden seal, black walnut, and turmeric. And then you would put it on that little cotton ball, place it right in that corner where it is, and you bite down. Okay. Got it? That's anti-inflammatory. It's antibacterial. And it's also antiparasitic. Got it? So it's going to actually tighten up. See, black walnut draws in. Okay, it draws in. And literally what it does, it will, it will actually start to bring in, you know, the gum to tighten it up. Okay, so that you would not. So if there's any pain in there, inflammation, it'll start to get, you know, bring it down for you. Okay. Now, so what, about, what, no, what about if you're not. If, okay, what was the question now? What now, did you the say? thing is, what about if you're not feeling pain, right? But. The whole reason that they want you to get it taken out is because they said as you get older and you age, it'll become harder to clean it and the chances of infection increase. Uh, I say that's uh, a bunch of nonsense okay. <laughs> <laughs> because well. I still have all four of my wisdom teeth. I never got them pulled. Okay. Got Even it? if they're partially out. Even if they're partially out. Uh, believe it or not, they can reset. If it becomes a problem, then you deal with it when you come to it. Got okay. it? That's what I would do. Let the body do what it's supposed to do. I remember they told my son, they wanted to do, they, didn't want, they said, your son is a missing tooth. <laughs> right up in around, right around the canine area. And they said, he's not, he doesn't have a tooth, so we want to go up and surgically pull. The tooth was actually just like a baby tooth that didn't like come out right away. So they said, we want to surgically go in and pull it out and mm. pull the other one down. Ouch. <laughs> right? Ouch. And then he's going to need braces. Oh, man, they were going in, boy. I said, no. Kind of no. get in your pocket. That's what that was. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, he's going to need braces. I said, no, he's not. Just let it do what it's supposed to do and just leave it alone. And guess what? He left it alone. Two eventually just dropped out, just taking his own time, <laughs> just dropped out, mm -hmm. and it closed in. It yes. closed. Got it? You got to yeah. say everything don't work on their time scale, you know, and you got to understand everybody's body's different. Got yes. it? So, so take your time. True. Let the body do what so it is. True. If it can't correct itself, then you start to do that, okay? Then you start to do things that, you know, but try not to structurally change things around. Because yes, once you structurally you change it, you can't change it back. Yep. Got it? Gotcha. Thank you. All right. All right. Can okay. Yes. All right. Me, I had a problem with my wisdom tooth. And about 45 years young, my tooth never came out. Mm. So what I did, I had to go see a, a dentist. And what they did, they took an x-ray and realized that my tooth, the bottom side was growing and crooked and it was hitting to the other tooth real bad. Mm. So what they had to do, emergency uh, surgery to take my two tooth out because they damaged the other tooth that was on the side. Mm. So that's mm -hmm. what happened to me. My, my wisdom tooth never came in. I was wondering mm. what the problem was. Wow. And then, like yeah. I said, they took an x-ray. Yeah, see, there's a lot of, teeth yes. Right. See, teeth have, you know, it's based on the base of the jaw and a lot that's going on. They you got to give it a chance to, you know, to maneuver in its position. So you want to do things like the oil pulling works well with that. If you want to know about the oil mm -hmm. pulling, right? Mm -hmm. Oil pulling is very good for the teeth and the gums. So uh, cinnamon, also oil pulling. You know what oil pulling is? Yes, because okay. I do it with coconut oil. Yes. Right. So I would use also, don't forget about sesame oil. <laughs> sesame oil has a higher uh, rate of dealing with staph and streptococcus bacteria. So I would use that also. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. So okay. that would be a good one. Um, so just keep in mind, let the body do what it's supposed to do. And then if you get to that point, then you make a decision when you get to that point. Got it, family? Okay. All right, Miss Flo. Miss Flo. <laughs> All right, we got to get ready to wrap it up, y'all. But uh, go ahead, Miss Flo. Okay, for the for the tongue scraping, mm -hmm. is that good to do every time that you brush your teeth? Yes, absolutely. You should always scrape your tongue. 
you know, but you don't have to have a tongue scraper. You can just take your brush. The brush, yeah. Okay, just use your regular brush and scrape your tongue. You know, a lot of the bacteria and things that build up, you know, why people have uh, especially things like halitosis and bad issues with bad breath have everything to do with, you know, uh, uh, you know, they need to scrub that tongue too. Yeah, all day long. Yes, sir. <laughs> scrub the tongue. You know, there are specific tongue scrapers. You can, you know, Google tongue scraper. You know, matter of fact, from somebody, there's some folks that gave me tongue scrapers for Christmas. Well, I'm trying to tell you something about Dr. Paul. I'm trying to be nice. I'm going to be nice. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to tell Dr. Paul? I was like, wow, a tongue scraper. Said, wow. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. Appreciate what that. What you trying to say? Anyway, <laughs> you do a lot of talking, Doc. You <laughs> But yes, uh, so yes, you can do a tongue scraper or you can just use your brush. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, Flo. Well, yeah. I, I do. I actually do both. Yeah. Okay. It's either either way. It's good. It, but it's a lot of germs and things do form on the tongue, and yes. maybe uh, next week I can do a tongue, you know, breakdown. We do a tongue assessment where we can show you everything that's going on with you by looking at the tongue. Maybe I'll prepare that for next week. Okay. Wait a minute, Doc, Dr. Paul, please. I just got one question. I have to ask this question. This is okay, Robin, go ahead. Mm -hmm. My mother, 78, she takes eight different medicines. She had heart failure 27 years ago. Her heart doctor called her today and told her that she should take the COVID test. I suggest she don't. What is your take? Well, we would have to see. Well, you know, my overall is not to get the test, period. Okay. You right. know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, she said the vaccine or the test. The vaccine. Yeah, I'm, no I'll way. Okay. Mm -mm, no way. Yeah, see, you, you remember, it's a philosophical understanding. They want people to take these these vaccines. But remember, if you have a low immune system, that's the worst thing you want to do. You remember, it's trying to fake the body out to think that it's already sick. Y'all trying to lie to the body again. That is so ungodly I know that's that right. you're doing this. It's just amazing that you got some of these people who have all these degrees but have no degrees of common sense. Common sense. <laughs> It's amazing. Mm. It's amazing. Why would you make the body sick in order to make it well? That's crazy. That is crazy, y'all. That's mean like you want to make the body sick by put, giving it poison to make it raise its immune system or trick it. You remember, they'll even use words like trick the body. What are you doing? That's like saying if you cut yourself, you know, we're going to trick the body to heal itself. It, that's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy, okay. you know. Well, I, I appreciate it because I've been trying to tell her that they're they're injecting you with something to make you sick. So if you get sick now, we got to try to get you better. Yeah, I, you, I might be explaining it to her wrong. No, 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 no. You got to You you can never remember. Here's the thing. The only thing that can stimulate your immune system to make the body react to defend itself means that it has to be an enemy. That means it's got to be a poison. Think about right. that. Think about that. So technically this stuff is poison in the body or it's faking the body out to think that, Hey, this has got to be something we got to raise the immune system because this is poison. It's being attacked. Mm -hmm. So if you, whatever have you ever determined that poison was good for you? Never, never determined that poison was good for you. But it's only the Western European concepts that they're doing, that they're doing that. This is a poison to the system. You know, I, I would say that um, if you have an immune, low immune system, what they don't take in consideration is that what happens if you hit somebody with a poison and they already have a low immune system? You're going to make them worse. You got exactly. it? Mm -hmm. They never take in consideration what if the person is already low. Everybody's immune system is not going to respond the same way. You got it? That means the trick ain't going to work for everybody. <laughs> it's not going to trick the body to do what it's going to do. You got me? So the only way you can truly know that this thing is real is that if you feed the body and the body corrects itself, that's the ultimate thing is to address the body's need. I'm going to leave y'all with a, a scripture. You know what that scripture is? 
Uh, this is what the Lord says. All right, I'm gonna give y'all something. Mm -hmm. Bill, you wanna say Amen um, on this? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it said, "Cursed is the one who oh, trusts yeah. in man. Yes, who depends on flesh for his strength, yeah. and whose heart turns away from the Lord." Jeremiah seventeen five. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? Cursed is the man who trusts in man, who depends on flesh for his strength and whose heart turns away from the Lord. So you're going to fall right into that. You got to start asking questions. You know, don't just go for the okie doke with all that. But also, I want to leave you with, with a line of encouragement. And that's Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8 says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who confide, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the waters that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Amen. Wow. Can somebody get an amen up in here? Ha Hallelujah. <laughs> Stop yeah. being fearful. Amen. Hey. Well, Amen. There you go. There you are, y'all. Y'all better trust the Lord on this one. Let me tell oh, you. Yeah. Amen. You gotta trust the Lord Hallelujah. on this. And if they say, "Oh, you ain't doing nothing," no, nah, we ain't, we doing something. We just ain't doing what y'all doing. Well, <laughs> a, I know that's right. Hallelujah. Like it. You got me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We just that's ain't doing right. what you doing. I know that's right. You know. I know man. that's right. Yeah, that's it. You doing something? We doing what we supposed to do. What we've been instructed to do. Yes. 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 You know, and that's, Hallelujah. you know, to feed Lord. the body, the proper things, not to go and fall for, you know, things that have nothing to do with the life itself. You know, you Morning. only life gives Ooh. life. Life begets it, life. Dead it. can't never bring you life. Dead can't do nothing but well, stay dead. Y'all got Paul, that? I got a question. Thank I got a really quick question. All right. So, um, and this thank is you for, Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, amen. So, so I do have a quick question. Okay. All right. About it, real quick. So it was an argument about uh, well, this late and um the lady was saying, Well, oh, our yeah, life yeah. is like a gamble. Like if it's required, then I'm gonna take this vaccine because I have no choice if I wanna keep my job or travel. What does that tell you? <laughs> Well, she's not informed. That's what it means. <laughs> you got to understand, you know, um, if anyone makes you take anything right now, it's against your, you know, well, number one, your international rights and also the rights in which state you reside, unless you're in one of those states that it, we were talking about that already has taken away your rate, the rights of the people. Yes. You yes, got yes, me? Yes, 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 yes. You got to understand that. You got to mm -hmm. understand that, you know, no one can force you to do anything because remember it. The whole purpose of this sanitary act was that they said that different people are from different religions. Whether you believe in the Bible, the Quran, or the the Gata, whatever, whatever it is, you have the right to say I don't want it. You know that's the procedure. I don't want that procedure. You got it. Because if I break the skin, I can get infected. My question is to you is, whoever wants to hit you with the shot, can they be accountable for anything that happens to you? You got it? Yeah. Are they going to be accountable? Are they going to pay for your medical insurance? Well, amen. Or your life living after the damage has been done? And see, the reason why you see a lot of this in 1996 the medical the government gave the the pharmaceuticals a bone they threw them a big old bone it said that no one can in, can sue pharmaceutical companies for vaccine injuries Ooh. did you get that yeah. that's why they can go so buck wild and just come up with anything they want to because they know there's no level of accountability Mm -hmm. You got it. There's no level of accountability. They have this thing called the vaccine wow. court. The vaccine court is where they line everybody up and you go right through this line here. If you got an issue, you got me. 
So go to the website vaccine liberation dot org. Vaccination liberation. Mm -hmm. Got it? V A C L I B dot org. Got it? V A C L I B dot org. You need to get informed? Yes. There you go. Thank you, Bill. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. That's it. That's the website you need to make sure you send to everybody. That's women who had children that were injured by vaccines. They took them to the court and they won. Mm -hmm. Got it? Dr. Paul? Yes. I'm sorry. I know you have to go, but I have two very important questions. I'll make them quick. Okay. Okay. So first, I want to thank you for all this wonderful um, knowledge that you have. My question would just be, um, well, my first question is, what would be the best um, diet, I guess? I, it sounds like you're alkaline. So is that alkaline? Is it vegan? Is there meat? Is there no meat? Um, and then my second question was just about what recommendations do you have for women who experience um, really bad menstrual pain? Would you mm -hmm. happen to know about that? Okay. So first question, absolutely alkaline-based diet. Go right to my website. I have a website where... You can go right to the download section, drpaulherbs.com, and you will go to download. When you go to download, you want to see acid alkaline food chart. Okay, stay to the left. Alkaline-based diet. That's correct. But this is alkaline with non-GMO, non-genetically modified foods, number nines, organic. That's what we try to do. No conventionals. Okay. Uh, that, the that. next question was for, what was the second question? My second question was about, um, the menstrual cycle and what you yes. recommend for really bad menstrual pain. Absolutely. And for every woman, I did mention it earlier. Uh, there are several different ones that you can use. One comes to mind. Remember, we got to clean the liver ladies. Got it? Because what's happening, that's the, what's signaling out the signal of the balance. So we got to clean the liver. So, uh, not to diagnose, treat, cure, preventing disease, just food for the soul. First that comes to mind would be the angelica root. Okay, mm -hmm. the angelica root. Uh, also, a.k.a. Don Quay. Okay, uh, that's what I would use. Okay, Don Quay. Also, anything dealing with endocrine system, the balance, that would mm -hmm. go back to black cohosh. <laughs> okay, you can also do red raspberry. Oh, red raspberries. Red raspberry. The woman's herb. As the men say, they keep you off the couch herb. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All and right. Just to clarify, um, alkaline means no meat, right? No, no, no. Well, yeah, because all meats are acidic. That is correct. So if you're doing um, alkaline, you don't want to eat meat, and that includes fowl, Okay. Because remember, anything that did, that that requires your body to create the enzyme to break it down is going to cause it's going to cause you you're going to have to use energy to get energy. You got it. So that's why we say, don't go with that protein thing. Don't go for the protein fake out, y'all. The protein, the greatest right. source of protein is your veggies. Got yep. it. Yep. That's got it. it. Thank you. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay, <clears throat> Big B, is yeah, that it? I think yes, the time sir, just that, flew it. today. It's gone, on. man. Time oh, has just wrapped it up. Yo, time wrapped it's up. almost can 9 o'clock. Can I ask one more question? Can, um, can Mr. Bill send his, um, his email again? Okay. Yes, Big B. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bill's going to sign off. He's going to sign us off. Big B, you want to go ahead? Oh, give me one second. Put this in. I don't want to mess up. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh hey listen guys do me a favor this is this this weekend is the weekend for you to pray for me i'm going to california to sort of wind up everything for my daughter so keep me in your prayers okay yes yes absolutely it's, it's it's been a long time i can't imagine what people in california are going through it's a mess out there they actually had to raise the pollution level to cream to cremate people in california can you believe that mm, it's they that had to bad they had to what now? They, had, they, had they, to... pa they passed the law, Dr. Paul, to raise the, 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 the what, what's it called? You know, they have, they've got all that smoke and all that smog. And oh, stuff you mean there. because the, the pollution level. 
when they and raise or, the pollution level, you mean what raise, is acceptable rate yes, for poison? You yes, mean? exactly. Oh my god, exactly. In order for cremation to to, get, to be taken care of, so oh, it's wow. it's, just, it's just an amazing thing. So just kind of keep keep me as I, uh, in your prayers as I, as I travel on Sunday, and uh, and hope when I get back here safely the yes. middle of the week. Okay, okay. But just kind of just kind of close things. I had just remember, hey guys, this is the place to be on Wednesday nights with all the kind of stuff that we've been sharing. Oh. Here, yes. But sharing sharing here on on Wednesday, I want to make sure that, of course, this is something that's never required. But you know what? Listen, do what you can to sort of support the support the program here, and and just share something on, on the Dr. Paul's Cash App. Okay, that's uh, capital. Let's put let's put it like this. That's the dollar sign. Capital D R capital P A U L capital H O P. Okay, that's Dr. Paul. And hey, listen, this is the place to be. Do it, do it, do it. Guess what? Bring some more folks. Look, did you take a look at the, the list, guys? We had over 150 people here tonight, guys. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the rest of the people get and understand what this is all about. So guess what? We can keep sharing this information and people will stay healthy and well. That's what it's all about. All right. Thank you, Big B. Yes, and you friend. have our prayers and blessings on a safe travel. So we won't see you on the green hour this week, right? Uh, so, look, if I can figure out a way to get back in, you I know you, you. I know you will. I know you will. I'm not going to let the Don't family worry about if it. I can help it, buddy. Can Don't worry about it, man. You take care. Again? You you take that information. Be very careful out there, okay? I will, my friend. All All right. Right. I will. Yes, if it's if everything is in the chat box, if you want, that's uh, you know, and and Bill just elaborate when what we're doing here with the family tree. This is why I say bring us together. Let's all gather around the tree. This is an old ancient concept of when the family need to get together and tell the stories, keep the family together, talk about what's going on. It's called the, the family tree. So uh, if this is actually something that we're not making any money off of this thing, this is just information for our people. How about that? Yes, that's exactly so all right. of the proceeds that you donate, if you choose to donate, you don't have to. If that's you exactly right. To, goes to the development of the program only. That's it. I've been truly blessed. Bill has been too, but yes. Bill has to take his time out to do the editing for the video and things like that to post it on page and do the social media thing. So that's why we say if you want to, you can. It's not a necessity. I've always had an open uh, door policy with that whole concept. I just give out the information. That's the way it keeps coming to me. That's exactly right. The Lord just keeps bringing it to me. I just keep letting it go. All right. So I want to thank everyone for chiming in. It has truly been a pleasure. And if you want to get a hold of me, call me for one on one assessments. That's one eight seven seven three seven seven twenty eight fifty four. We are still doing the RM three a full analysis. Ten percent discount off family. If you still want it, we got it. And we do have a cancellation. First call cancellation. That means even if you listen and say, wait a minute, Doc, you got like you know, March is the next new new appointment. No, not necessarily. That means that the first person, if someone cancels, we go right down that list. The first person comes right. in. And I had some works. folks last week that came in. They were scheduled for March, but they came in last week because nobody was available. So that first one works. comes in, first one gets in. So don't let that be discouraging, family. All That's right? right. That's right. Also, you if give... you, yeah, someone had a question and you need the information. Oh, you're on the phone yes, call. Right. She has a phone call, Bill. So she wanted to get the cash app. Is that what you wanted, the cash app information? I want to, I want to, yes. Uh, peace to everyone, family. Uh, Dr. Paul, thank you so much. And Bill, be safe on your travels. Okay. Well, indeed. Um, I don't have a cash app, and I'm legally blind, so I'm using assistive technology. Do you have another way that I could support? Sure. You I got PayPal. You got, you know, all those different mm -hmm. ones we have. You tell us, uh, I'll tell you what, just email us uh, over to Bill yes. and we'll work something out for you. Okay. And lastly, the vaccine.org. What was the last one today? You said something vaccine.org. No, vaccination liberation is the, you would Google. Okay. It's, but it's okay, the website you. is triple W dot V as in Victor A C as in Charlie, L-I-B as in boy, dot org. V-A-C-L-I-B dot org, okay? okay? All right, family, it has truly been a blessing. 
and I know we have to we have to run and we got to get back into this thing and and family I love to sit down with the family and talk about it. did y'all get anything out of this tonight well, yeah I well, to get well, anything. did you learn anything tonight <laughs> excellent excellent <laughs> all excellent. right about thank you Yes. yes. What we try to do is just keep you informed about the many things that are going on and you got to bring it to a place where you can have that people can work it out together. You got it? There you go. So, there you go. There you go. I uh, thank you all and <laughs> drink thank after you. You. <laughs> What did you say? Can I do my green drink after 7? I know it's not on the circadian rhythm but I'm having a hard time getting them to <laughs> Yeah, you can you can veggie anytime. You can veggie anytime. Yeah. Remember? Holly Julia. All right, we're gonna we're gonna samble it on out. I thank y'all. It has truly been a pleasure. God bless y'all. May God keep y'all till we see you next week. If you're breathing, right. you got you a got shot. shot. God bless everybody. God All right. Good night. Good see ya, night. see ya, see ya. Hey. Good night. <laughs> I forgot to do this. Well, Phil, you say, Phil, you say. All right, all right. Big B, Big, Big B, yes, B. thank yes, you, man. Yes, yes, sir, man. Always, 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 always a pleasure, man. Be safe in your travels, my brother. Will do, my man. Will and do, call me do. and let me know how you make it out if you're going to make it on Sunday, okay? You got it. I sure will. Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul. Yeah. Uh, Can you send me those scriptures? Can you text it to me? <laughs> you heard me? I can't hear you. I can't even see you. What happened to your head? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at, Dr. Paul. You look alike. <laughs> I can't see you. Where you at, man? I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> what you gave? You got to get. We put a phone book under your chair or something, man. <laughs> <He's hiding. laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. What? Uh huh. Call me later, Mark. Call me All later. Right. All right, family. All right. God bless y'all. Right. It is truly All a pleasure. Right. All right. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Good night. All right, family. Welcome to the family tree. Hope everybody's doing well. It, this is January the 27th. Wow. Man, time is gone, brother. You know, this, you know? <laughs> this year is moving already, yes. with or without you, right? That's right. So I want to say, you know, welcome to, we say the family tree is a place where we want to be able to share your information, but it's also a cultural resource for you and your family. So that means that whatever you're doing, we try to do things more natural, holistic, uh, organic, uh, talk about the conversations that don't go on, on multi, on regular mainstream media. We talk about the things that you can do to feed the body and the body corrects itself 11 you times go. faster you than you that's get right. sick. That's the shout for somebody there tonight. I know that's right. And no matter what you're doing and what you're going through, you can start to feed the body and do natural things and the body corrects itself. So tonight we're just going to go in uh, topic of conversations, uh, things that you may be hearing, uh, if you have any questions about some of the remedies and things that we talk about, uh, we believe that it's a perfect system created by a genius. How about that? And that whatever you do, if you start to correct this, feed the body, you're going to see some amazing changes happen in your life. How about that? Y'all ready for some changes in your life? I know. I yeah, know. yeah. Some of y'all. I, yeah. right. I know that's right. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so Big uh, B. Dr. Paul, before we get going, let me remind everyone yes, that sir. if you're not speaking, kind of make sure that all of your mics are muted. So that that's, and when Dr. Paul speaks, uh, everything comes through nice and clear. So that when we do our recording, it comes back really, really good. Okay. Appreciate right. that so much. All right. And let's give a hands, hands put together for Bill 1L Morgan, uh, my co host here and producer of the show. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bill hey. 1L Morgan. Hey, I brought my own sound effects. He brought his own <laughs> sound effects what are you today. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, and Bill uh, <laughs> Bill also is the editor for a lot of the shows. So after this show is completed, if you want to play this for someone who did not get a chance to hear 
or see what's going on, you can actually view this on Facebook. Uh, there is a Dr. Paul Holistic Health Network that's on Facebook, and you can join. Uh, just send me an invitation, and I will send you a private uh, invitation, opening you up to the uh, conversation where you can get all the shows. So it's not only just the family tree, but you can also get WURD when we do uh, Saturday morning, which is the Dr. Paul Holistic Health Show, and also the Green Hour every Sunday. So we try to keep things in the loop. We try to keep the conversation on track for what you're experiencing every day. And especially with this coronavirus, keeping health and keeping your immune system is our key and our motto. Mm -hmm. So Big B in the house, I yes, want sir, you to buddy. give us a uh, breakdown of what's going on in the coronavirus. You have uh, our favorite website. Give I us sure those do. numbers right now. Yeah, I do, guys. Of course, our numbers are coming from that's NCOVE, that's NCOV 2019.live. That's NCOVE 219.live. All right. That way you can make sure that each day, whenever you feel like checking, you can make sure that everything, all the news, uh, the news people are staying on track. All right. So, as of 36 minutes ago, we are looking at a number right now. And I guess what? It was just the other day. We we're about 96,000. Guess what, guys? We're right now total confirmed cases of 101 million. Instead of 96 million, 101 million, 366,921. That's worldwide, all right? Total critical, 110,130. Total deceased, 2,181,162. And here we go with our total active guys, 25,940,443. Total recovered. Total recovered. Here we go. 77,742. Mm. You know? Wow. Wow. That, that's that's one we have to play and kind of applaud for because guess what you know what it's something that you just never know we want to make sure that everything is working right we want to make sure that the family stays in good shape and that we just make it work for us across the board so yeah we are with the numbers uh, and by the way dr paul remember on sunday we when the when it recycled and it came back that there were no more uh vaccines in development well that, that must have been a fluke because we're still back up at the 192 now for the total vaccines in development so right and to correct that right so at this moment you have total recovered what was that yes. number again total recovered 73 million seven thousand two hundred and forty two Right. Y'all hear that, family? That's a lot going on. We should be talking about those numbers yes, because yes. there are people still, you know, fighting this thing off and they're winning. You mm -hmm. know, people are yes, coming yeah. up out of this thing. So we want to make sure that no matter what you're doing, you know, there is they, they put out back in the Lancet magazine, mm -hmm. which is a medical journal that it's effective if you have COVID is less than 1% death rate, but that's yes. always based on, you know, if you're experiencing a chronic condition or if you have hypertension, diabetes, if you have something that you're taking as what we call immune suppressant, which is basically uh, some medication. Mm -hmm. So if you are just taking care of yourself, your best odds are that you take care of yourself and just feed the body the proper things to build the immune system anyway, right? So that's where we have to look at some of the things that I'm getting back and uh, I talked to a lot of international uh, folks during the week. And so far, they're telling me that, you know what, there's a very interesting fact. You know, of all of the countries in the world, the United States is the only one with four verifiable versions of COVID-19. Did y'all wow. hear that? Wow. Four verifiable uh, versions of different versions of uh, COVID-19. They just found uh, there's one in uh, Minnesota that is the equivalent of the Brazilian uh, that came from Brazil. They had this back in, <laughs> believe it or not, y'all, they had this back in the summertime. And we're just finding out right now, Big B, wow. you know, that wow. they had these things and uh, we're just finding out. They didn't want to uh, I guess alert the folks to what's really going on. But uh -huh. yes, we uh -huh. have a verifiable four different variations wow. that are running strong. No other country has this. There is a South African version. There's a Brazilian version. There's a Europe version. And of course, America. So there's four variations. All of them are here in the United States. Also, uh, we're running low on PPE. 
You know, the PPE, the uh, issues with PPE is going bad because of the fact they can't get enough masks, uh, also gloves, and they're running out of needles. That's the other thing. They're running out of needles. So the needles is becoming, all these little things, Big B, are coming mm -hmm. uh, to a screeching halt. It's almost like if you said any <laughs> any country that would be coming under judgment, it would be us. Looks like we're running the plagues of the Bible right now. Yes, indeed. So, um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you got to start to take care of yourself, family. And yet you still don't have anyone saying, what about what are you eating? What are you doing? So the rules of the game tonight, family, I want you to raise your hand. And those that have um, questions, please put your name in the chat. Raise your hand so I can see you. And we'll just go directly in. Okay. How does that sound? And Perfect. once you completed the question, just drop your hand, okay? I got Troy. First one, Troy. Troy? How you doing, yeah, sure. Troy? Where are you? I'm right here. Okay, Troy. How you doing there? All right. I can't complain. Uh, I had a quick question about uh, what do you suggest other than glucosamine to take for aging joints? Of course, as you get older, your joints start to hurt more. Uh, so I thought... Uh, Glucosamine was the best thing to take. Is there anything else better than that that I can take? Absolutely. Uh, we say not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease. It's food for the soul family. We got to say that, Big B. Yeah, uh, what I look for for regenerating the connective tissue, you know, joints, ligaments, has to go back to the MSM. Okay, MSM, Mary, Sam, Mary. Okay, uh, MSM is the methyl sulfony methane. Okay, that's actually what's yeah. one of the best things to build the uh, connective tissue, but also to release what's called cellular debris out of the cells. Okay. okay? So that's one of the things that I would say uh, it is organic sulfur. So what you would do is make sure the version you get is what's called flakes. So it would be... Uh, Methyl sulfony methane or MSM with flakes in the flakes variation version. Got it? Okay. They have that on pen herbs, right? Uh, pen herbs may have it. Uh, also, Pollock herbs on Broad Street or Wayne Avenue Health Food, which is in Germantown. Okay. Oh. They're at 50, Germantown's 5007 Wayne Avenue. And then also, uh, Pollock herbs is, of course, on Broad Street, 5925 Broad Street, right on Broad and Champloss. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. The Thanks, flakes, sir. the flakes would be better uh, because the flakes actually help with the body's uh, ability to deal with inflammation and it's a cooling effect. See, in order to repair the joints and ligaments, it has to cool. Inflammation brings heat into those areas. So you have to bring something that cools and that's what MSM does. Got it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you one more. I'm going to give you one right. more. The other one would be coral calcium. Okay. Coral calcium. Hold up. I may even have one. Yep. This is coral calcium. Can y'all see that? Ah. Uh, you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep fading in. Keep fading in and out. <laughs> there it is. Coral calcium, if you want to screenshot it. All right. Let me do that whole card quick. That's an excellent company too. The company that that we're looking at there is an excellent company. Okay. Got it. This is the powder, and the powder is a source from Okinawa. Okay, you always want to get it from a place like Okinawa, which is the Lower Peninsula, where a lot of the uh, coral reefs are with their con protected barriers, but some of the best places where you can get coral calcium. It also is excellent for bone density issues. So, ladies, if you're having something with bone density issues, it's also good for hair, skin, and nails. Okay, regeneration. Matter of fact, makes your nails very strong. Okay, that's the coral calcium. Also, it's actually is very, very good adding to your green drink. So sometimes you can add a, a quarter teaspoon to your green drink. Uh, that's a little secret that I do. And it actually helps to intensify the energy in the gut. So it deals with gut issues. Okay. All right, Troy. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. 
We got Audrey. Audrey. I'm here. Okay, okay Audrey. Audrey, I see you. <laughs> My question right. is, I have been suffering off and on with extremely dry lips, and I don't know why. Mm. I drink a lot of water, and out of nowhere, my lips get extremely dry to like burning almost. Mm. Mm -hmm. and it could be the next day, they could be fine. Mm -hmm. And this comes and goes, and I have no idea why. So they're burning? Are they... Okay, so they may be burning because if they get chaffed, they're going to break, and then that's going to open. That could cause what the burning comes from. But yeah, the chapping, back. yeah, and if you're doing something to keep the moist, one of the good ones is for derma would just be aloe vera gel right on the lips. Aloe vera gel. Uh, okay. Have you tried the aloe vera gel at all? I have the aloe vera gel. I take it for the acid reflux, but I didn't put it on my lips. Mm-hmm. Very good for the lips because anything with derma deals with the lips. That's what you do. You know, people, you know, I, I had to have a conversation with uh, uh, some young folks one time. And, you know, there's an old saying, you know, God, why did you make my lips so big? Y'all ever heard that one? Anybody ever no, heard that? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, not this crowd. No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd, no. Well, it was uh there was a there's a saying that you know the child comes up and says guy why did you make my lips so big but people don't realize that you know um there's a reason why your lips are big anybody have a clue why your lips are big why are people of color our lips are big anybody because they're nice and kissable <laughs> So we, so we can cool soup. Some, somebody else wanted to say that, Dr. Paul. They just didn't want to own up to it. I yeah, I, I knew this was going to go here. That's I why I threw that out there. They're going to make something. Out there flow. You something know going to be a funny. Somewhere, somebody <laughs> <Yeah>. going. I, <laughs> what are your lips? Why are they big? You probably say, because people will laugh at you, you know, that if you have big lips. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to make you feel real good tonight. You have people of the sun, brother. The sun? Did yes. you say the sun? Yes, that's what he says. Yeah. People of the sun. Oh, to the equator. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I'll accept that. Almost. Oh, almost. But I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> uh, All right. I'm going to roll with that. But I'm going to give you a better reason. Your lips are for... When you eat food, specifically things like fruit and vegetables, your lips are the first level of digestion that absorbs the minerals. So the you, bigger your lips are, the more you absorb into the bloodstream. Well, now, don't you mercy. feel special right now? I know that's right. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. So you see, she said no, Maxie said no. <laughs> she said no, no. <laughs> But that's what you see. You can extract more nutrients out of your food when your lips are bigger. Did you know that? Okay. Wow. Can you tell me why that is, Dr. Paul? Simon? Because you have more availability of moisture with the lips that absorb okay. more. That's okay. what you All right. For. Therefore, All the right. first level of absorption of nutrients into the body. So if you have no lips, then you can get all of the nutrients out of the food as you can that's why you take some things and you like a peach mm -hmm. or something or a plum when it's really juicy you can actually absorb it that's starting your absorption of minerals into wow. the body wow, wow. y'all wow. should feel special right now y'all should be clapping i be, know i does y'all should be throwing that. something at the screen right now well, well what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right i think it's special <laughs> All right, thank you, Bill. <laughs> All right, Audrey, did that answer your question? I think yes. if you start to do a little bit of the uh, things like that, also coconut oil is good. Also, coconut oil, but make sure if coconut oil is unrefined and non-hydrogenated. Got it. That's the key. They are getting away with unrefined. Uh, hydrogenated, which hydrogenization, we did a whole show on hydrogenization. That's when they're using hydrogen for stripping out, and that's a form of refining, but they're getting away with putting it in the coconut oil. So don't mm -hmm. put that type of coconut oil on your skin because that's going to block up the pores. 
You got oh, it. Hydrogenization, is, you know, is a form of hardening things that came from Procter and Gamble back in the 1900s <laughs> around the turn of the war. So they actually used that for making soap. Mm. So they hydrogenated things to make them tight. So that's what frozen dinners are. That's what the non-dairy creamers are, all that stuff. So you don't want to get that into your system because if it's making it hard, then that's what happens when it gets into your bloodstream. It makes it hard. That's why those that take a lot of hydrogenated foods tend to have high cholesterol and high mm. blood pressure mm. issues okay. and plaque issues in your okay. arteries and veins. Got okay. it? All right, family. That's a good one. All right, Audrey, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got, is that Cinnamon Stevens? <clears throat> Cinnamon? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. can hear you. Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, how you doing? All right. So I had two questions. Um, my first question is about um, extreme dandruff on the scalp. Um, my, my dermatologist says that I overproduce too much oil. So then it dries up and it's flakes. So I just wanted to see if you had any suggestion. Yes, absolutely. Well, dandruff on the skin, uh, on the scalp, yes. is going back to you have to watch your yeast. That's the overproduction of yeast, believe it or not. Wow. So we got to watch the, the sweet, you know, refined sugars, refined salts, refined oils. It's a yeast issue. Starts okay. to be, so what you got to do is it, it dries out. That's that's actually why um, we start to use things like the oils, like the coconut oil is excellent for the scalp. That's why you see it in a lot of the hair formulas mm -hmm. and also tea tree oil. OK, these are antifungal, antiseptic, antiparasitic. They deal with yeast and things like that. But before anything, you got to watch your food choices. There's a detox in order. Uh, any ever been told any issues with yeast at all? No, never been told anything mm -hmm. about yeast. Yeah, we got a lot of yeast problems, and a lot of the yeast issues come from the refining of all the foods. That's what we have. So you got to watch that. There's a top 10 list that I have on my website. Top 10 toxic foods. You got to stay away from them. People build up a lot of yeast. Or they're so acidic that it creates the environment which yeast which yeast starts to build. So you can have yeast all over the body. You can have yeast, of course, under the armpits, uh, in the crouch area, you know, under you know, in the in the uh, in the mouth, on the tongue, all over the body. So that's where, you know, the candida, you know, happens in the gut also. So you got to make sure you cleanse with that. There's a parasite form. I have a parasite form. Let me see if I got it. Yes, this is a parasite formula that I have. Can y'all see this? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm right there. Uh, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right okay, there. Mm -hmm. See it? It's called the eliminator. Okay, the eliminator. It's a formula that I have that deals with all of the things that deal with yeast and fungus, but also parasites. Okay, of any and all kinds. So that has <clears throat> the ingredients that it has would be things like the wormwood, uh, of course, the garlic bulb, uh, also the chaparral. Um, I put in here also fennel, slippery bark, slippery elm bark, uh, black walnut is a good one, black walnut. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, the things that you would use for tackling yeast, but also uh, if there was any thing on the scalp. See, we use, for example, um, those who have like lice. That's where the, um, the coconut oil comes from. It's very good for lice or bugs in the hair when children have the ringworms, things like that. Okay. Okay. So maybe that can help you. Okay. But okay. definitely you need a gut cleanse. You need to do a gut cleanse. That's the colon cleanse. And then I would follow it up with a parasite cleanse. Okay. Okay. So there's a one, two punch. Here's the colon cleanse right here. Ooh, there it is right now, there. The question is, do you have to complete the colon cleanse before you start the, yep. uh, yep. I would, I would, would recommend that. Okay. Only time we say uh, you can take both is if you have an accelerated situation. If right, you have an okay. accelerated situation, then definitely you can take both. But I would have to give you instructions on how to do that. Okay. okay? All right. All right. But usually, 
you know, family, we got so much going on where they're not telling us what's in the food. That's the whole fight. The whole right. fight is that, you know, you don't know what's in the food. Keep you in the dark. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no food mandatory labeling laws, so we can put anything we want to in here. And then, you know, people get sick, don't know why, saying this just all of a sudden this happened to me. But really all along it was happening. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why we have to go back to, you know, go back to uh, – Cleaning the gut, okay? So clean the gut, family, all right? Okay. All right, all right. Who do we have now? I have, is that Cecilia? Dr. Paul, can I ask a question about the par the eliminated? Okay, sure. Why is it that you only do it two weeks on and two weeks off? No, no, not the, no, that's not the uh, parasite for them. Not for that one. That's the golden seal. You mean the golden seal? No, on my bottle it says two weeks on and two weeks off. No, there is a there is a layman's term that you can use there. So there's there's really no there's no bad way of doing it because it's food. But if they're layman's, if you're starting for the first time, we're trying to introduce people to the system because people have different levels of uh, gut activity. Some people are heavy meat eaters. Some people are vegetarian. Some people, you know, eat a lot of chicken, a lot of pork, you know. So people are at different levels. That's why we start them off slow, introducing it to your system. Got it? So ultimately, you have to find out what works for you. So we try to walk you slow. It has on there desired results. You know, you, you remember seeing that on there? Yeah. Has desired results. Well, what is desired results? That means that once you eat, soon after you should eliminate. Got it? That's what it means. So when you receive a desired result, that means you're in a constant rhythm. You know that soon you soon after you eat, soon after you're gonna eliminate. So remember that time for elimination, right? Y'all remember that, right? Do I have to do a test tonight? I don't think I have to do this well. mic on. <laughs> <laughs> 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right, this is the digestive system. Okay, the digestive system. How long after you eat should you eliminate? After oh, you eight, eat, right? A half but, hour. But what is the digestive cycle? You remember that digestive eight, cycle, eight, right? Eight, you remember hours, I told you? Three hours. Three hours. Okay. Three hours 48, after. 48 hours to 72 hours. Oh, I know you. Right. There you go. Somebody said it. Somebody said it. So somewhere between 18 and 48 hours. That's the time right there. 18 and 48 hours. So whatever you had between 18 and 48 hours, well, as soon as you eat, you should see it between 18 and 48. Now, if it's before 18 hours, what's that? That's what? Diarrhea. Diarrhea. diarrhea, right? So if you get diarrhea, what's the first thing that comes to mind that you know something's going on, right? What's going on if you get diarrhea? Yeah, some kind of bug. Yeah, 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 yeah. What'd you say, Maxine? What'd you say? You said you have some kind of bug in your system. You got some bugs in you. That's right. <laughs> 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 Y'all crack me up. Y'all, you know what people ask me. They said, if I take this, will I see him? Uh, yes, you will. I don't want to see him. I said, would you rather hold on to him? What do you want? If so, you have a colonic, you will see him. Oh, yeah. So what do they well, look like? You don't you may, all right, let me clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You may or may not see them based on the type of parasite that you have. Got it? <laughs> Most of them are microscopic and you will not see them. Got it? It's only ones like the flat worms or the fluke worms or sometimes like the tape worms that are getting real big and then you'll start to see them. You know, back in the day when you, if anybody knew down south, they used to have children. You ever see children used to when they go to sleep because they had too much sugar? See, it's sugar mm -hmm. attracts parasites to the system so some of the children the signs of a child having parasites would be when the child is laying down and they sleep with their butt up in the air you ever see that before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When yeah. the child has the butt up in the air that's because they're trying to cool the butt down because it's it's, it's itching 
So what's happening is that's that's the parasites, sign of parasites. So they would attract the the parasites by by literally this is this is deep, but this is old school. They would pour milk on the babies behind. Oh my! And it actually, draw the uh, the parasites Blood out of the system. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. that's real old. Somebody in here, if y'all yeah. don't know, y'all ask some of your grandparents. They say, "Oh yeah, I remember that." Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maxine said, "Uh uh, that's what <laughs> <with> me." <laughs> 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 but parasites, see, parasites move, and that's why I'd say take the eliminator. Yes. You take yes. that in the evening after that last dinner. You got it? And that's when it becomes most effective because parasites have a circadian rhythm also. How about that? Did y'all know that? <laughs> that parasites have a oh. circadian rhythm also. They're alive. Uh -huh. so yeah. They move at night, right? They and eat at night. You know night. why do they eat wow. at night? Why do they eat at night? Because they're Anybody? sleeping during the day. <laughs> I don't know. Because oh. you're resting. Because <laughs> you're resting. That's when our body is relaxing. Yes. <laughs> Who said that? That sounds like Carolyn. Is that Carolyn? Yes, that is Carolyn. I can't forget that voice. Yes, that's your voice. Carolyn is absolutely right. See, what's happening... See, the parasites can't move around. You're too active. Yes. Bloodstream's yes. moving too fast. I can't do nothing. Too much going on. It's when you, you know, cool down, you get comfortable, you know, watch your favorite show, and you sitting there with that big old thing of ice cream, everything's sudden down, right? Ooh. Ooh. And now when you sitting down, you night your heart rate goes down, they die right into the bloodstream. Wow. Now they move Ooh. all around. Mm. Yep. And that's when you sleeping and then you start to feel that little itching going on. They usually go to the places where they can can uh, mass produce and reproduce faster than anything. And they do that by fecal matter. So they go to the anus. That is exactly what they do. And they'll sit there. And that's why people start to have rectal itching at night. If you have rectal itching, itching at night, that is parasites. That is absolutely not, it's, it's not your you. imagination. It is absolutely <laughs> parasites. Okay, so I was taking this. I was taking this. Stuff. Hey, Tom, how are you? Oh, he came right Okay, somewhere. okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Flo, just what did you say? Did you say something, Flo? I said I was taking it, taking it every four hours for two weeks. Sure, that's nothing wrong with that. That's that's okay. That's no problem. See, you can still do that. You know, there is no wrong time to take it. But I'm just giving you the scenario of what's more effective. When you start to take it in the evening, now they're going to dive in there and think everything is cool. Yay! You go jive in there, and then the, this parasite form is going to be waiting right there for them. Like, uh -huh. okay. That's all right. <laughs> Try got this. It? I got you. Got something for you now. I know, that's right. Yep, Bring it take on. them right on out of here. Destroys them destroy any ability for it to procreate or actually mm -hmm. lay eggs got it that's the mm -hmm. whole key you gotta you gotta basically shut them down but you put it in the time when they're most active mm -hmm. you got it all right good question Flo. good for, well, question all right cecilia did we ask the uh did we get cecilia no here i am okay cecilia how you doing okay how you doing hi family, hi, family. hello hi, family. all right um, I, I had a question because I was in your office like about a month ago mm -hmm. and you put me on four different herbs for my, for my fibromyalgia mm -hmm. and I wanted to know if I was supposed to take them all or just pick one because I've been taking all the four that you suggested. Okay. Well, remember, we tried to do the recommendation is all those herbs. The ones I gave you are based on where the imbalances were. Got it? So the concept is to put everything into a power green drink. You got it? So, for example, give me the ones that we talked about. Um, the red raspberry. the Which is, okay, let's stop. Let's start with each one. So the red raspberry is balance. That's for hormonal balance. Okay, that's the woman's herb we call when you talk about thyroid issues, uh, also progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, balancers, that's the one. Got it? Okay, next one. Butcher's broom. Butcher's broom is circulation. Okay, that's where usually things like neuropathy, you know, tightness in the hands and the feet, things like, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, cold feet. That's always extremities. Okay. What's the Third next one? one? The burdock root. 
Burdock root is liver. That's blood cleanser. So that's going to cleanse not only the blood, but the liver, but all the organs. And specifically, it deals with skin also. Got it? So that's a derma. Whenever you want to clean the skin, you got to clean the liver. Also, it's the nuclear reactor, the power source. So if you're having issues with energy going like this throughout the day, that's where burdock root keeps you like this. Your goal is to stay right there. Okay? What's the next one? The golden seal. Okay, golden seal is dealing with infections. That's uh, any type of total cleanse of the body. And that is where we start to deal with things like um, uh, problems with organs. If you just want to reset the body, that's what golden seal does. They changed, matter of fact, golden seal root actually changed the entire NFL. They couldn't figure out how these you know, football players were actually passing the drug test. They were like, how are they doing it? We know they're doing it because we're spying on them. <laughs> so so how are they doing it? Well, they were taking Golden Seal, which gets you clean. It cleans the blood, cleans the organs. It also deals with a lot of infections. A lot of people uh, that I deal with are taking that also as a as a seasonal cleanse. So that's why we, we put that in there for you, okay? So okay. how would you do that? What are, what was it? It was one more. Should I should I also be doing the colon and the parasite cleanse with all this? No 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 no. Remember, this is your main formula. The whole point is that that's your formula for your imbalances. That's based on what's going on with you. So when you're trying to do that, you put everything into the green drink. You got a green drink, right? Right, but I haven't been putting it in a green drink. I've been taking the pills once a day. Right. Everything goes in the green drink. See, if you don't have that green drink, you don't have the energy to keep it right here. The whole purpose of the green drink, which is right here. Can y'all see that? There you go. Right there. Yes. Bring it forward just a bit. Dr. Paul. Ah, it's just, it's dang on, dang it's just... up. <laughs> Playing games with me. Ah, now I'm fading out. Yeah. There it is right there. Can you see it? Yep, there you go, right there. Okay, that is the Sharon got hers up. See? Yeah, they, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Sharon. So that is the phytonutrient green drink that balances your pH. Remember, you're all oh, everybody is malnutrition. You lin, you lin. And when you're living in this northern hemisphere, you're not getting enough sunlight. You don't have the energy. That's what the green drink is for to hold your charge mm -hmm. to keep you right here. You got me. Or if not, you're taking some of the herbs, but you're like this. You got to have that energy. So the green drink is a meal replacement. It's yeah. for also for keeping you strong and keeping your pH. Because if you don't have the energy, remember, this is an energy game. You got it? It's an energy game. And if you don't have the proper amount of energy, you cannot keep the staying staying in that zone where the pH stays strong. So if you take everything and just whatever it says, Cecilia, make sure you read the bottle, okay? Everything that it says on the bottle, take as recommended on the bottle and just split it into your greens. Got it? I do always, when we start folks off on a new program, we say try to do one after every meal. It is a meal replacement. Remember, 1947, they said food doesn't have 47% of its nutrients. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? There's nothing in the food. So you have to maintain that. So that's mm -hmm. why that's probably, Cecilia, the most important of everything you just mentioned mm -hmm. is because you have to maintain the energy right here. Got it? Now, everything else in there with those other herbs you just mentioned are going to go to where they need to go based on where your imbalances were based on your assessment. You got me? So how does the herb know where to go? Mm, ain't that something? How Good does the Good herb Good know where to go? So remember, we she just said burdock root, right? And I said that goes to the liver, right? Mm -hmm. And we said that the red raspberry, that deals with the endocrine system, right? So that deals with your hormones. So how does it know where to go? Well, guess what? Everything is based off of frequency, uh, energy, and charge. That. Mm -hmm. that means plants are alive and they have a certain frequency, vibration, and energy. So inside of our bodies, we have the same thing. So every bone, joint, ligament, connective tissue, every organ, 
your eyes, everything has a frequency. So when you take that herb, it matches exactly the frequency that's going on inside of you. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's Ain't up. Ain't that awesome? I tell you, if you can't see God, you ain't looking. How about that? No. <laughs> ain't that awesome? So that's where we have to understand this is a perfect system. So the food, there's herbs that know directly to go to the liver, to the pancreas, to the kidneys, to the brain, you know, to the muscle, to the tendons. You know, it's just a perfect system. So that's why, Cecilia, that's why we map that based off of you. Okay, so we're not guessing. That's why when we do an African holistic health, we don't guess. We go to the root of the problem. There you go. All right. That's yeah, right. All right. You got that, Celia? All right. All right. You're muted now, <laughs> but that's okay. Thank you. All right. Who else we got? We got Michelle. Michelle? Saris? Yes, I'm here. Hey, okay. Michelle. How you doing? I'm good. How about you? Oh, we are doing well, doing well. That's good. Uh, so I have a, qu a, a question. So is it true that um, like wearing masks will stop your blood oxygen from flowing? Because I get so lightheaded about wearing those masks. And I got to wear them all day at work. Mm. So, so where, where, do you, where do you work in an environment like a, a you know, a, is it a hospital or something or... Yeah, a hospital office. I work in with um, several people, but you know, it. I take I take it off when you know when I'm by myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah, you, yeah know. you should. Everyone should uh, take time out to get the proper amount of oxygen. You know, there's a time that you, of course, if you're around other folks, you know, you without starting a moral conflict, <laughs> you can actually, you know, wear the mask. In, in just appreciation and respect to other people, but yes, there are yes. times when you need to take it off. Okay. You got to get some fresh air. I would say for every person that's listening, you need to go out and just take a point of starting to take deep breaths mm -hmm. every day because mm -hmm. the fact that you know that you have the mask on or you're going in and out of situations. I would, for example, uh, we, we talk about the breathing, right? I'm going to tell you that 90% of the time people come in to get an RN3A assessment with me, 90% of them are not breathing right. Mm. You know what that, that means 90% of us are not breathing. There's, I'll say, take a deep breath and people throw up the chest yeah. like this, right? That's absolutely wrong. You got it. That's absolutely wrong. If you're going to breathe, you take air in, the abdomen and the stomach comes out. Got it? It's a very easy process if you just let it go. If you try not to even work and just let it happen organically, it's going to happen. And to prove that point, all you got to do is look at a baby. You ever see a baby breathe? Right? You see a baby breathe? Stomach just coming out like this? You don't see the babies going like this, do you? <laughs> right? You got me. You got me. No, Baby Moore, just sit there, stomach just moving in and out, moving in and out. Got all it? All you got to do is look at yourself. They're not stressed. It just Stop shows in. that we have been so stressed out. Yes, yes. That we harbor upper, upper breathing, short breathing. So that's like when somebody tells you bad news, you go like this, like this, right? You harbor all of that stuff up here. You got me? So you're not getting proper amount of oxygen and usually if you have had a lipid test of anything from blood and urine you can actually see on the test a carbon dioxide rate and most people's carbon dioxide rates are super high because that means you're holding on to it you got it and also that means you're in a state of too much acidosis you know what uh the other thing is you know the sparkling waters the uh, we also talk about the sodas. You remember that's carbonated. Anything carbonated is supporting the acid environment. So for mm -hmm. example, if you're breathing in oxygen and you're blowing out carbon dioxide, then why are you drinking carbon? Yes. Why are no, you drinking right. carbon? You don't want to be drinking carbon. You're trying, that's waste. You're trying to get rid of it. You got it. So that's why, uh, just keep that in mind. All right. 
All right, okay. Michelle. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Something and, comes to mind real quick, Doctor Paul. Before you go, what kind? Uh, are, can you use house plants? Are they good for oxygen in in your homes? Absolutely. You know what I said. You know we are. <laughs> We are nothing but plants ourselves. We just all got right. the ability okay. to walk around. That's okay. all. <laughs> we all have right. the advantage of walking around, which means that um, just like a plant, mm -hmm. you know, you could take a plant, seed it, germinate it into the soil, water it. But if you don't get sunlight, you got nothing. I know that's that, right. that plant's not going nowhere. So that means the same thing for you. The activator for you is definitely the sun yes so when yes, you're taking yes. all these herbs and people say i take herbs every day and don't seem like it's working maybe it's because you're not getting enough sun yeah, okay. okay okay that's the major activator keeps you body start to start to sh that's like the you know the thing that starts the spark to keep it moving you got mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. that's the chain reaction so keep that in mind all right all right all right, who? Where are we, Bill? You got any? Uh, anyone on the chat? Well, that was that one of them came from from that. But then you know, there's some folk who are just trying to figure out if uh, there was one here that want to know if you could use. Wait a minute, let me find it here, Doctor Dr. Paul. You want to? Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, it, never mind. Yeah, I think you already covered it. Sorry about that. You already covered it. Okay, I covered it already. Yep. yep okay, yep. got it. All right, I got Robin. Is that Robin? Yes, that's Robin. Hi, everyone. How are you? Hello, Robin. All right, Robin. Dr. Paul, I have a couple of questions. I had my gallbladder taken out in 2000. Wait, let me start over. I, I did call to get an assessment. Mm -hmm. So I do. I haven't gotten a call back yet. So um, maybe I'll get it tomorrow or Friday. Mm -hmm. Where did you call? Um, earlier this morning. Okay, yeah, they'll probably call. They'll probably call you probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, that's one. The second is um, I had my gallbladder taken out in 2000. I realized um, there are certain things I can eat and certain things I can't eat. I believe I'm a very good eater. I eat no red meat. I eat no pork. I eat a lot of fish. I stop eating salmon. Um, and I eat chicken. So mm -hmm. I don't go to the bathroom like I'm supposed to, and it's irritating me. I take your greens, um, you know, your powder. I've been taking the the cleanser. Now I'm almost done with the cleanse. So now I'm gonna get ready to take the eliminator. Mm -hmm. Um I drink a lot of water. I don't drink sodas. I don't I, I, I don't think I do anything that I'm not supposed to. I mean, sometimes I eat some cake and all that little good stuff, but that's not every day. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I feel so bloated at times. Like mm -hmm. I can eat a small meal. And I feel so bloated and I won't go to the bathroom for maybe two days and then I'll go to the bathroom. I, I That's what I don't like. That's why I need to come see you. I don't mm -hmm. know what's going on. Yeah, that's going back to the villa and the villa. You know, I mentioned I started off today talking about how the villa, the gut is under attack. You have these little hairs that sit sort of like in your in your gut. OK, they go back and forth and their job is their villa. They actually take the nutrients out of the food and brings it into the body. Mm. But you got to be careful because things like antibiotics, medication, GMOs, processed foods, chemicals, sprays, dyes, they get in and they cover them. Okay. Even things like, believe it or not, things like lectins, called lectins, L E C T I N lectins these are things and proteins that the plant you get from things like nightshades things like um uh things like uh beans uh certain nuts uh things that block the villi tend to cause digestive issues you can absorb there is an assimilation issue with everything you just mentioned okay. you got it Simulation. Yes. So there's no assimilation happening. That's where the bloating is coming because everything is backing up. The body's like, I can't get it in. I can't get it in. People have destroyed villi. Some of it is so bad that it's actually wiped out. They have no, they've teared out the lining of their villi. So there's no absorption rate at all. And that's when people say, I'm eating and eating and I don't know what's going on. I can't get this thing right. And guess what? 
the gut has been destroyed. So we got to repair the gut. And I'm going to tell you, it's probably because of all the things that we think that we're eating that are good, but they're not. Now, you mentioned one that's hot off the presses, and this is going to have to break somebody's heart tonight. But the salmon, you got to yes, watch the yes. salmon, y'all. Well, I did. I stopped eating it. I did. I, I cut that completely out. Yeah, no salmon, period. Okay? And also, watch the beans. If you're doing beans, you're going to have to do beans, but you use what's called pressure cookers. Okay, who has a pressure cooker? Anybody have a pressure cooker? I do. Everybody got a pressure cooker? Okay, that's what happens. Yeah, everybody loves that salmon response, Bill. It's always, <laughs> it's always, it's always a hoot. <laughs> Dr. Horn, yes. what's the difference between the, the salmon? Is, is it the, the farm-grown salmon or the actual ones are in the wild? That, okay. That's the difference. Okay, I, I got to go through the whole story again. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. The whole concept of what's happening with the salmon has everything to do with greed and money. Yeah, they okay. wanted to make a larger salmon, and in yes, 20... Okay. And this has been going on a long time in Canada, okay? Mm -hmm. So what they did, they wanted to make a larger salmon. How yes. do we make a larger salmon? Well, we're going to mix it or genetically modify it with yes. something that grows because mm -hmm. we want to make a bigger one, right? We want a better presentation so we can make larger and make more money. So what do we have that we can mix it with that can make it grow and keep, you know, just keep it and make us more money? Well, we're going to grab the you know, the the uh, the growth hormones of a sea eel, mm. which is a scavenger, and take that and put it into the embryo of the salmon. And now the salmon, as it grows, it keeps growing. But here's the problem. It never stops growing. Oh you got my. it? Oh, my. So it never stops growing. So the FDA said, well, wait a minute. You're going to have to kill that at a certain time. So there's all these rules and restrictions that have been placed on it as it was the first introduction of this genetically modified salmon. It took place January 2019. So you've been eating it for a whole year, y'all. Wow. You got it? You've been eating it for a whole year. So the FDA also said, well, hey, guess what? Matter of fact, if you do this, you don't even have to tell them until 2022. You don't have to label it on the product. So many manufacturers may or may not list it on that even if it's wild caught you don't know if yeah. they introduce the genetic version or the regular version you mm -hmm. just don't know they don't have the obligation to tell you uh, you got it okay so that's the problem now there's some people say well wait a minute wild caught yeah it may be a wild caught company but you don't know if they have the right to issue this or not they can do it and oh. not, you never even know it okay so that's why i said be careful be very careful on dealing with it there's so many other fish in the sea that you that, that sounds so familiar that was like a like a like, bill that was like a a, a proverb or something there's yes. so many fish in the sea <laughs> oh, that was a motown song yeah <laughs> the that you song. don't have to anything with fins and scales there you, you go fins and scales that's it you don't have to deal with salmon oh, okay. you well, know and cod. most of the time then cod is excellent you know what cod has cod has vitamin a in it that actually is very hard to get which is very good for connective tissue and a whole lot of other things mm -hmm. you know cod is excellent you know fins and scales that's listen, it listen fans, you go fins to the fish scales. store and say hey he said bill you, you got fit you, you got fins and scales yep wrap him up that's it uh -huh. you know you got croakers you got sea bass you got striped bass. You got, uh, you know, walleye. You know, you got wikis. You got ling. I'm just rolling off the top of my head all mm -hmm. the different fish because I used to be a fish. Huh? Aren't those high in mercury? No, it oh, depends. No. Mercury comes from where the fish are usually yes. in high levels of trafficking. Like they do things. They found that in things like the mercury in the tuna cans mm -hmm. okay that's where they're finding them it's where they're dredging them from yeah we do have a problem with some things but the fresh caught those are your best bet that's the closest thing to the real thing you got it so if you're going to get fish 
the number one thing is fins and scales are high swimmers. Mm -hmm. Got it? They're up here. Poop falls where? Down. To the bottom, bottom, right? That's the reason why you don't want to eat the shellfish. You got it? The shellfish, the shrimp, the lobster, the crabs. Oh, my. All of of y'all just all, going like this, man. You just stepped on my craft, man. There's a whole bunch of stuff out there, guys. <laughs> no, that's right. Woo! Let me tell you, y'all, it's causing a lot of stuff. Spots, yes, I love spots. I love trout. Trout is excellent. You know, trout is an excellent one. Yes. You can get it. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you porgies. Yes, somebody said porgies. Yep. So there is a lot of uh, things that you can do, but remember, you got to watch this shellfish family. They're dredging them from the contaminated beds where all the oil spills are. So when you're dredging them, they're pulling them with all of the toxins and chemicals. And that stuff goes mm-hmm. in and starts to penetrate your what's called the myelin sheath, which is yeah. your central mm-hmm. nervous system in your mm-hmm. body. And when it starts to ping that, that's yeah. like the area where it starts to ping mm-hmm. when yeah. it starts to deal with, you know, motor skills, things like walking, talking, your ability to coordinate. You know, it also deals with you ever see anybody shaking, hand shaking? You ever prayed with somebody and they hand shaking like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's tearing down of their central nervous system. We see it also with children. Children are having this issue mm-hmm. now. Why? Because a lot of them are introducing too much of these things that are damaging the myelin sheath, which is like a coating on your central nervous system. So what happens? It breaks it. Now you got the tremor. And we're seeing a lot of young folks who love shrimp, lobster, crabs, and all of that. A lot of that stuff also is highly parasitic. A lot of parasites with it. You remember, that's God's cleanup crew, right, Mm -hmm. y'all? Ain't that God's cleanup crew? Mm-hmm. That means that when they are called anthropods. Yes. You mean God said, hey, I need a cleanup crew down here, Bill. Yeah, no, <laughs> I got right. this beautiful ocean I made. Now I need a cleanup crew. I got to clean this thing up. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to give. I can't put him down there with a regular body because the pressure of the ocean would crush his body. So I'm going to give him an exoskeleton. His skeleton's on the outside. Mm-hmm. Yours is on the inside. Ours is on the inside, right? So with that, there's land anthropods and there's sea anthropods. So what's a land anthropod? Cockroaches. We got roaches. Absolutely. The cockroach is an anthropod. So technically the sea, shrimp, lobsters, crabs, those are sea roaches. Got it? You don't want to eat them. Oysters, uh, clams, uh, mussels, those are the filters. Those are like mini yes. filters. Scallop. Scallops. Shrimp. Too? Scallop. Yes, Scallops ma'am. actually for many years, believe it or not. And I learned this from a fisherman, This, which is my uncle. Since 1967, scallops has actually been shark meat. But that's a whole other mm-hmm. story. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> that's shark meat. All right. So just keep it in mind. List. This I thing. I have a whole list of stuff here. Okay, wait a minute. I wanted to say this. I wanted to to sort of uh, just say and have an understanding. Everything we're talking about tonight has everything to do about you getting it in and getting it out. Out. Yes. It's a toxicity Mm -hmm. issue. The body's always balancing, trying to do this thing called homeostasis. So you're trying Mm -hmm. to balance it out, get it out of you. And the longer it stays in your system, that's when the damage is done. You got it? So you got to purge this stuff out. That's what the herbs do. Bind to that stuff. Pull it out of you. You got it? All right. Uh, Did we answer that one? All right. Raise your hand on the right side because we got a line on the right side. Y'all see it? I I can't. I'm not on Zoom. I'm sorry. Okay. What's your question? And then we'll get to you, Sylvia. I see you, Sylvia. Okay. Okay. This is Nisa. I'm calling from Florida. I have a question, Dr. Paul. Mm -hmm. Uh, First of all, with the myelin sheath, you know, that's where your MS and your Parkinson's come into play. That is correct. Yeah. But I'm having an issue with, I just started, it just started last week. I had my eye exam. I was fine. Then I started seeing a floater in my left eye. So I immediately, I'm waiting for it to come, ordered some Dr. Christopher's eye formula. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So I think I'm on the right track with that. I already have my eyeglass, so I'm waiting for it to come so I can start cleansing my eyes yes. to see how that works. The Absolutely. other thing, you were mentioning fish. The other question is, what about tilapia? I've never heard of it, so I don't eat tilapia. <laughs> and the <laughs> other thing, because um, that's not a fish that yeah, I man. grew up on. So the other thing is, can you talk about the wheat? Because yes. a lot of people are eating wheat and think it's good, and it's not good for you. Yeah, that goes back in. I'm going to go from the reverse on those questions. Wheat is actually okay. what we just talked about, the lectin issues. Yep, lectin issues. Uh, wheat is modified. And let me tell you this. Nobody started talking about these problems until they started genetically modifying the wheat. Yes, exactly. You got it? Mm-hmm. So it's causing a problem right now. So it's blocking the villa. The villa. They'll say bread. You know, it'll say wheat bread. And then it says uh, whole wheat bread. And the first item on the ingredients is refined, I'm refined wheat. You know, it's, right. it's crazy. They just know people don't read. They did. They know it. They'll do it right in your face. And it's also most bread is genetically engineered right now. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know most bread? Everybody grab your bread right now. I'll give you five minutes. Grab your bread or if you can get to it, grab some bread. And I want you to start looking down at that line. Most bread from most manufacturers, it says made with bioengineered ingredients. So all oh of that's going to mess up your gut. See, this is going back to Robin. We were, we were talking about that. Uh, what's happening in the gut. A lot of people thinking that again is getting a lot of this bad gut material with perfect acid in the body for yeast and candida and all these things to grow. And we can't get rid of this stuff. So um, keep that in mind, okay? Uh, what was the other question there? She was talking about tilapia. Tilapia. Okay, mm-hmm. tilapia is, <laughs> you know, we laugh about tilapia. Don't don't eat the tilapia, okay? Just don't eat it. Yes, Tilapia, I did the research on tilapia and found out that tilapia actually is a real fish. And it comes, believe it or not, it was an ancient fish out of Egypt. Mm-hmm. Yes, but they've done some things to it and modified this thing in a lot of ways. And then, yes. of course, the conditions in which this thing has actually been grown and the things that they do and yes. the conditions that yes. it in has made it a polluted fish. Yes. Okay, so just stay away from it. Got it? But it is a real fish. It is actually a tilapia or there is a progenitor of the tilapia line, but it originated out of Egypt. Wow, ain't that deep? Swimming mm. up the Nile. Mm. How about that? Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and what was the last? Was there another question or was that? Was that was I it? think that was the last part. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. You. Sylvia. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Last it week you talked about. Last okay. Week oh. Okay. I'm sorry, it's... Sylvia. What was that again? Last week you talked about oatmeal. I just need clarification on oatmeal. No. We, yeah, no, no, no oatmeal because no. of what they're spraying on the oatmeal. It's being oh. pre-sprayed. Yes, it's oh. being pre- pre-sprayed by this thing called mm-hmm. glyphosate. Mm-hmm. Got it? And that's what's causing a lot of the uh, digestive issues. I'm, most people that are having issues with gut issues starts with oatmeal. Okay. Okay, so probably move out the oatmeal Go with something else. Uh, I would suggest everyone, uh, there's a brand called Bob's Red Mill, excellent brand. Uh, They're looking out with an understanding about this whole gut issue. So Bob's Red Mill is an excellent one for you. Got it? Where do you get it? You can go to any of the stores. You can go to... um, uh, Smiles, Stop Right. Yep, you can go anywhere and get that. It's in all okay. the cereal divisions, all the cereal okay. parts of the stores, whether well, Shoprite, uh, Acme. Uh, mm-hmm. You can go to, of course, the Whole Foods stores. You know, mm-hmm. Mom Sprouts, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, all of them will have it. Bob's okay. Red Mill. He has a great brown rice and farina that is mm-hmm. good. Okay. Okay. And then what you do is you add it with something like a fruit. You can add a fruit. You know, but. But if it causes digestive gut issues, stop it. Okay. okay. You got to be careful. They mm-hmm. are spraying stuff. They're just getting away with everything. They're mm-hmm. doing anything they want to do with the food, y'all. All right. So clean that gut. Clean that gut. Right. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to go over here. Big B, let me know if there's anyone chiming in on the chat. If you have a quick question on the chat also. You know, uh, there's there's one here, Dr. Well, I'm not quite sure if, if it uh, is what it says. It says real quick now. Uh, asking about uh, can fennel, asparagus, and, and almond help with eyesight, number one. Also, uh, is smoking a good way to fix the beans up? <laughs> a little it's, better. See, uh, we we have started that question <laughs> over again. <laughs> there were actually two questions. The, the first one was: Can fennel, uh, asparagus, and almonds help with eyesight? That's the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the second one, I'm not quite sure if this is a typo or not. Is it also is smoking a good way to fix the beans up a little better until I get a pressure cooker? Smoking them. You mean smoking yeah. them, not smoking I'm sorry, them. I think smoking that them. Was me. That meant smoking that was the beans. That's smoking, smoking the beans. Smoking the beans. No, I meant soaking the beans. Oh, I meant soaking the beans. No, I meant, I meant soaking the beans. Oh, okay. soaking the beans. Oh, soaking the beans. Oh, yeah. I know what I Okay, my name is May. So, you know, I'm country. Okay, May. I got you. <laughs> All right, so uh, you need a pressure cooker. See, remember the whole point of the lectin that is produced with the nightshades anything that uh like the uh anything with the seeds you like the you know to see the seeds inside of a, a green pepper things like that uh also this is the plant trying to create a protection for its seedlings that's what it's doing so this is what it creates it's like a it's like a protein and this protein is what actually covers and when it gets in your gut covers the villa or villa got it so the whole concept of pressure cooking is that you denature that protein got it that's what it does so when you have extreme heat and pressure it destroys the lectin you got it it destroys it so now the bean is digestible and you can absorb it into the system it's all about assimilation you got it it's all about assimilation Okay. So if there's any other way of doing that's the only way we're going to get it if you have problems with a specific bean. Because you don't produce, number one, the enzyme. You know, for some people, when they take beans, immediately they have a lot of gas. That's usually because of the lectins, but because you don't create the protein. Now, if you eat this long enough, if you eat a consistent bean long enough, you do start to produce the enzyme to break that protein down. That's why some people, you can go to a certain... Uh, people's, uh, you know, everybody ever say, well, I went to a Thai restaurant last night and boo, boy, I got gas like crazy. Got it? Because if you go to Chinese restaurants or Thai-in or uh, Thai restaurants or any of those restaurants, you're not used to eating that type of food on a regular basis. So you don't produce the proper enzymes to break down the food. Yeah, yeah. So what does it do? It creates gas. You try to produce something close to it. And your body says, well, I think I know what that is. So it creates some kind of an enzyme. But when that actually gets to the food, it creates a gas because it's not the exact enzyme to break it down. And so whenever there's gas, pass it down. Got it? And that's where the gas comes from. Got it? Okay. All right. Okay, Do you Big have any, um, list, list of um, lectins? What was that? You have a list of uh, all the elect the lectins. All you got to do is just Google. If you say Google lectins and you punch in L E C T I N, and you'll pull down every single one of them. You know, nightshades. Gotcha, you. Yep, any of those you can pull them down. If you want to post them, you can post them after you look them up. Okay. All gotcha, right. Thank you. All right. Is that uh, Caleb? Okay, go ahead. Is that Caleb's mom? <laughs> Where's Caleb's Hi. mom? Hey, how you doing? I'm well, thank you. I actually wrote it in the chat, so I just wanted to find out what we could do to repair or clean the kidneys and stop water buildup. Yes. And stop water? Yes, water buildup. Mm -hmm. um, feet are swelling and that type of thing. Right, right. Well, specifically, not to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent disease, just food for the soul. One that's really good is dandelion, believe it or not, dandelion root. Mm -hmm. Dandelion root is a very good one. See, dandelion, not only it, um, uh, but it actually, it, it pulls, not only 
it pulls the water off the legs or excess fluid in the body, cranks up the kidneys to get moving. So it adds a little bit of the magnesium that's that uh, breaks down the calcium deposit that brewed up in the kidneys, which is called kidney stones. And at the same time, remember when you have water removed from the body in any part of the body, they say, for instance, if you had a knee or something and you had to, or any legs and they swell and you had to go get them drained. Well, there's a lot of nutrients in there. And then when it pulls it out, the weak, the leg gets really weak. Usually if you, anyone has, has had this done knows what I'm talking about. Your knees or your feet or your, or your uh, legs get real weak. That's because when they pull that water, there was a lot of nutrients in there. Well, here comes dandelion. Dandelion does a great thing. Dandelion actually says, I'm going to pull off the water. I'm going to crank up the kidneys to get it moving, add magnesium to actually break down the calcium deposits. And I'm going to put the potassium back in the leg so that you don't lose the energy. Ain't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Woo. That's mean. <laughs> that is awesome. So How long you have to take dandelion it? is used when it's every issues with um you know lymphatic blockage issues when people's legs are swelling or their you know deep leg thrombosis issues where their legs are swelling really or the ankles are swelling big that means the kidneys are shutting down so you got to start doing something so dandelion is an excellent one for that okay dandelion root and you see dandelion growing everywhere don't you Yes, mine <laughs> is a miracle. It it grow right up in concrete, right where you think that you know. There's no way that a tall dandelion is supposed to be growing in concrete. That yes. is impossible. Out of the side of a wall. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. So it does happen. All right. Uh, you can also do things like a kidney flush. I did give a kidney flush one time. Y'all want that kidney flush? Mm -hmm. Let me see yeah. if I can find that kidney flush. Uh, and how often do you have to take the dandelion? You can do it as often as you need to. You remember, this is food, right? Okay. Uh, here's one right here, kidney flush. All right, you can do a kidney flush. Uh, you can do a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. Make sure it's number nine. Okay, you can do a half a cup of fresh grapefruit. Okay, you can do one garlic clove, clove, and it can also be uh, minced garlic also. Okay. All right, and you can take one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ginger root powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mm. Mix, mix that together, together. Mix mm -hmm. it all together. Yep. And you can do it once a day. For how long? Usually if you start, it depends on how aggressive you want to get with it. You can start to do it for about two weeks. Okay. That'll give you a good cleanse. Usually by the first week, you'll see different changes. It's also going to soften the stones that happen. You know, and usually stones that happen anywhere in the body is calcification because you're lacking magnesium. Okay. So that's why, you know, the garlic, the ginger, the cayenne, they're dilating. They're, uh, the citric acid is breaking it down, things like that. So that's why that formula works real well. Okay. Okay for kidney disease. Hmm. Would that be okay for kidney disease? Stage three. It depends on the situation with kidney disease. I would have to look at the person's situation. Uh, kidney disease can vary in different ways, you know. So I would first do an assessment before I recommend anything for someone who had kidney disease. You have to see, you said stage three? Yes. Yeah, they have to get a reboot. They got to reset everything. So that means uh, food choices, water. Uh, see, you can do all of these things that we talk about, but if you don't change your habits, that's the trigger. That's the trigger to the problem. The trigger sometimes is happening right up here. You got it? You can't get past the the rituals and ceremonies of eating. You got it? So you got to get past that. So we would do an assessment for the person. 
All right. And uh, but definitely, I would say get an assessment. Come on in wow. and we can see what's going on. All right. All right. Who do we have here? Is that uh, AJ? Is that AJ or Aja? I can't see it on my screen. Uh huh. Let me see. <clears throat> Is it AJ? It's Aja Fairbanks, right? Is that Aja? Is it Aja? Aja Fairbanks. Mm hmm. Going once, going twice. I see you. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. I, I mute yourself, Aja. There you go. There, there you go. go. Hi, Dr. Paul. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Is um, that a ja is that a ja? It's Aja. 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 See, yes. Bill, you messing up. That, that's because I'm from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aja, go ahead. Uh, I don't have a question right now. I'm just tuning in. I have no okay. question. Okay. Um, I saw yeah. your hand raised in there, so I thought you had a question there. All right. Well, Dr. Paul, can I ask, ask I a question? I have a question. Don't, don't have one. Who is that? I have a question. Well, wait a minute. I got to go down. There's some people. There's a couple more in line in back of her. Okay, I got Cheryl T. Cheryl. Oh hi. Oh, you uh, I have two oh, questions. To put the hand up. Um, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, but someone. I got too much background okay, noise okay, there. Yeah. Okay, you, you good? Go. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Two. One is. Uh, uh, can you tell us something about the oil, oil of oregano and how to use it? Mm -hmm. The second question is, um, in the past, I've made the thieves oil without putting it in any liquid. Should I put it in an alcohol or a water? Uh, let's start with that one first. Water. Absolutely. It goes okay. in water. Yeah, never okay. alcohol. See, okay. alcohol is it's a preservative used for a lot of the tinctured herbs and things, but not for that oil, thieves oil formula. That should be in water. Okay. okay. So you would take about two, two to three ounces of water. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know what thieves oil is, thieves oil is a protective oil combination that goes back to the bubonic plague. Yes, okay. Yes. That was used as a protection and it protected people from the black death. So what it did, it actually, you do a combination of oils and if you want to get that formula, you can go right to my website, which is drpaulherbs.com. And you can go to download. And it's at the bottom. Uh, well, actually, you'll see Dr. Paul's ultimate green herbal list. Yep, at the right very there. bottom, you'll see how to do and put together uh, the thieves oil. Okay. So it's actually, uh, I'll give just, just as a reference, uh, the... The herbs are clove buds, okay, clove bud, which is actually parasitic, antiparasitic, lemon balm, cinnamon oil, eucalyptus, and rosemary. That's the ancient thieves oil. It's got a strong history. So when you do, when you go, when you go, It'll show you the proper uh, form that you would make the concoction. It would put it together in like certain amount of drops of each one, but you would use water. Okay, use water with that. What kind of water are you going to use? You going? To wow, Bill, it's like crickets, man. Good geyser. Good geyser. geyser. Water from the water bottle and from the source. There you go. All there right, go. all right, all right. Y'all come through in the clutch. All right. So <laughs> yes, and that would be spring water bottle at the source. Crystal geyser <laughs> is excellent. I did a test with somebody today. It was it was crazy. I wonder if they're on tonight, but uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny because somebody was uh, they were buying this very expensive water. And uh, they was like, yeah, this water comes from the mountains. It's cost me, you know, all this money. I said, let me test it. We tested the water. And then I put the crystal guys right next to it. And it's just, it's the crystal guys was better. <laughs> it's a dollar. It's amazing to me. I chuckle because, you know, it's, it's just the awesome power of God, how yes, God yes. puts, you know, things right in your midst, your breakthrough your challenge that you may be going through, 
usually is right around your answer is right around your Always corner. Is. Yeah. Is. Probably, you know, right next door to you. The person yeah. you speak to every day. You're, mm-hmm. you know, not sleeping at night. The guy will put that the solution to the problem right in front of you. Mm-hmm. So uh I just chuckle a little, but it just shows the awesome power of this whole thing. So just have the faith, continue to keep the faith, family. All right. I have a question. I have a question. Real okay. quick. Okay. Um, no, hold my, on. Um, my store ran out of um, crystal geyser. So I got this ice Atlantic. I read it and everything yep. is the bottle at the store. So is this a good substitute? Yep. That's yes. one that's on my list. Yep. Yes, Icelandic. Very good. It's from the glaciers, right? That's from the Iceland glaciers, which is one of the other pure fine sources on the planet. There's very much, there's a lot of pure fine sources on the planet. Did y'all know there's one that's actually north of um, what's happening with all the water? You know where the water's all bad and they they got the children? Flint, Michigan. Michigan. Up in Flint, Michigan. Michigan. North of Flint, Michigan is one of the purest finds of water on the planet. It's a place Mm. called Lake Huron. It's one of Lake Michigan. One of the most purest waters on the planet is right there. But yet they'll pump it. They won't pump it. And they'll pump it through by putting these things called chloramines, which is chlorine and ammonia in the water. Mm -hmm. Pump it through and then give it to the people in the city. Wow. Makes the water acidic. So when the water gets acidic, this water goes through and literally starts to create pulling the sludge out of the actual piping system wow. you know gm had to stop them from using that water because it started to uh rust their parts so we said we can't oh use that God. water but they kept pushing it through to the city to mm. the- wow mm. but lake Huron, lake heron or lake Huron. Lake, it's called lake huron mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is actually one of the purest finds on the planet and here it is, um, right yeah. there. I have a question. Is that, is that the second question about the uh, okay, oil sure. of oregano. Okay, the oil of oregano is is excellent. Uh, I recommend the one called oregano with an L at the end, and that's the one that's from. Let me see if I got it here. Here it is. Uh, it's from a uh, North American herb and spice. That's this one right here. Mm-hmm. Got it. See it. Oh. Yeah. That this is one of the best forms of oregano you're going to get comes from Turkey and the mountains uh, of Turkey are where this thing grows it. They can't figure out how it grows. It actually Hmm. grows in rock. (laughs) That's amazing. And it's in high elevation. It's in high elevation. Okay, high elevation. Somebody, somebody say high. Some, uh, it's in high elevation, and in the high elevation, remember we look at what's called doctrine of signatures, which means that it, wherever it grows, that's its strength. So when you take it, that's what is good for you. So high elevation plants like the oregano. We'll find out who blocked this thing. Uh, also, uh, uh, was sorry. Yeah. That's a... Okay, so the oregano saw so also things yeah. like mullen. Really? Mullen, all those you said things. You have been doing it. Okay, come on, somebody. Somebody shut down. Shut down. Okay, mullen and things like nettle that grow in high elevations. Those are the ones that oh, tend that to have excellent uh, forms for the lungs. For expectorants, pulling off mucus, things like that. So that just says we call that God's signature. Isn't that awesome? So when you get the oregano, you would take it just as drops, just like this. If you can see it. Oh, there it is. Got it? And there is regular and super strength. Okay, regular and super strength. These are very good for just going right under the tongue, or you can add it to your juice. Uh, This is actually one of the best things for fungus in the lungs. Okay? Some people say, well, I got this sort of scraggly cough, and it's sort of like that little little flutter. 
that goes right in around the throat area and you can't seem to get rid of it. And even if you breathe in and out, you can hear it sort of like wheezing, like, like kind of like that. That's actually maybe not bacterial. It's probably fungal. So that's what the oregano is good for. Also, it's very good for Corona. It actually, they make this in a, a capsulization. They actually uh, put a little bit of the inulin in here in this particular formula. I believe inulin is in here. I read that it's actually at inulin is actually what makes the lungs moist. Okay. It makes the lungs very moist. And that's why coronavirus only deals with with dry and cool parts of your lungs, which is upper respiratory. Got it? Upper respiratory. That's why when you want to fight off coronavirus, you have something that is keeping heat and moisture. That's what keeps them from getting able to multiply for it to actually infect the lungs. You got it? That's where pneumonia and all those things coming from. That's when mucus is rising. You ever hear any, that flutter in someone's throat? That's actually mucus rising. You know, back in the old day when they used to say, you know, uh, determine they didn't know much about what was going on. So whenever you about to, you're in the hospital or something, they say, did you hear it, Bill? Did you hear it? Did you go visit her? Did you hear it? They say, what do you mean? Did you hear it? Did you hear it? They call it the death rattle. You ever heard of that? The death rattle. They said, did you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, she ain't got much longer now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how people determine <laughs> if you was going to live or not. They would do that, but they didn't know. They didn't know that it was just mucus rising. You got it? That means when your mucus rise like that, it also draws. See, parasites draw to mucus. You got it? That's why when, you know, uh, pneumonia is a parasite. It's a parasite that goes in and starts to eat that stuff away. And that's why if you have intense level or variations of pneumonia, it could lead to lung collapse, which is called the pneumothorax, where the lung collapses, loses air and collapses. So it, it can lead to a lot of complications. All right. All right. Uh, let me go down the line because I got more folks here. Bill, how we doing on time? It's about time to wrap it up. Yes, Bill, you on... <laughs> Bill, I can't hear you. I'm mute, Bill. I'm mute. Bill. How about that? 8.33. Here we go. All right. I'm going to take okay. a couple more, uh, just a couple more, and then we're going to... I had my hand raised the whole ship program. All right. I got you, Laura. I got you. Laura? Yes. Go ahead. You got it. I bought the colon cleanser and the parasite cleanser, but I'm not sure of how to use it. Do I take it all? Okay. One system at a time. Right. So you follow through with the colon cleanse, and then you follow with, as we complete the whole bottle of the colon cleanse, then you move uh -huh. to the second step. That's correct. So there, you can't go wrong, even if you go by the bottle. That's, that's the layman's term of how you would use it. But I recommend just take two capsules after dinner. That's all you do. Two capsules oh, okay. after dinner, all the way to the end of the bottle. And then once you do that, you move to the parasite formula. Then from there, same thing, same protocol, two capsules after dinner. So you're getting used to something that you may not have had in the system before. So it's getting your body used to it. So you can't go wrong. It has all of the digestible things that help the body prepare to get, break down the food and things that you had during dinner. Got it? Mm -hmm. So in, okay. the colon, in the colon cleanse, just to give you an example, uh, there's things called Cape aloes. Cape aloes comes from South Africa. I specifically get it from South Africa because it actually is used to bind to, it's part of the bitters. So it binds to things. Then I have a little cascara sagrada. Okay. Uh, barberry bark, garlic, fennel, black walnut, peppermint leaf, which is actually Sue's. And then there's a little bit of African bird pepper. Anybody know All what right. African bird pepper is? No clue. Talk to us. Doctor. African bird pepper heats it up. 
So uh -huh. it keeps that stuff nice and moist. Keeps it moving. Got it? Keeps the, in, the intestines moving. You know, cool. That's where the bacteria and virus and all that stuff grows. Remember I just mentioned keeping it warm, right? Up in the lungs. But African bird pepper heats up. Starts to burn up a lot of the toxicity in the body. You got it? So no better place than the gut. All right? Okay. Um, do you have time to give me the formula for hair growth? Uh, that's going to be a long process <laughs> <'cause> she, <laughs> because we we have, um, I think one of your sisters probably can break that down real quick because we, we're running out of time right now. Is that and on, that's, the, on the website? No, that one is not. I gave that one out uh, a few no. times, and that's based off of how you, because I have to show you, not only give you the formula, we got to show you how to apply it, okay? So one of the sisters, I don't know if you want to grab one of the sisters' number, and who has that formula? Anybody have that formula they can share with her or uh, the breakdown of how that goes? Not on the call tonight. Prophetess, you got that? <laughs> you don't have that formula? Oh, nobody has a formula. Never even heard that formula. <laughs> and I need it. I have it, Dr. Paul. I have it. Ask, ask Sister Flo over there. She got the breakdown. Because that's a whole, I, I spent almost a whole 30 minutes on breaking that down one day. Because people have a lot of hair growth issues. I want to tell you, though, you know, when you have issues with hair, you know, we talk about the MSM. But also right. remember, circulation has a lot to do with that too. So copper, the mineral copper yes, yes. is usually missing with that. When you see hair turn white, it's usually because the lack of copper in the system. Because copper is used as a circulatory. It helps to speed up. That's why when people use for electronics, you use what? Copper wires. Mm -hmm. Speaker wires, copper. You know, when you're using for anything circulatory, usually using some kind of form of copper. You got it? So I would say, Flo, can you share that with the sister? Your contact information with Laura? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Flo, can I get you to also send me a copy? I just put my email address in so that it's in, in the okay. request the, you know, the, the documents from tonight. I can also put that in too. Okay, yeah. I got one last caller, okay, and uh, I have a question, Doctor yes. Paul. My hand's been up for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know we ain't been on here that long. Go ahead, Flo. <laughs> when I'm walking, sometimes I feel like I'm walking lopsided or side to side, and I'm I don't know where it's coming. A little discombobulation. Would you say imbalance issues? Yeah, I, I would say imbalance issues. I'd be like, okay. Hey, that in okay. Um, balance issues can be a couple of things. No, no neck problems, right? No neck issues. Yeah, I do have neck problems. Okay, that can be also contraction. You got to make sure your spine is correct. You know, pinching in the nerves in the spine. You remember we did the whole piece about when y'all sit to the side. Remember? Yeah. The uh, the ear should be in line with the the ear. The shoulder should be in line with the ear. Got it. So tuck your chin. You got to tuck the chin. But also, uh, if you stand against a wall, feet away from the wall and press your back to a wall and just tuck the chin, that's an exercise that you can use to straighten the spine. That usually corrects a lot of problems. Usually, uh, contraction issues can cause dizziness. Okay? It can cause dizziness. So if you still have it, you still have it after... After you've you've done these things and you still have it and you know that you're structurally sound, then it's what you're eating. You got it. So you you so you gotta sort of do like a little. Uh, you gotta do a sort of like a, a little almost like a mystery thing. You gotta sort of, you know, see what you're doing and what you're not doing. And I would start there first. Okay. okay thank you. All right, family. Bill, 1L yes, sir, Morgan, we got to yes, go, y'all. Yeah, this man. has been great. I think that, uh, did y'all get that. anything out of this tonight, y'all? Yes, thank you. All right, all right. Yes. Yes. Did you That's get up. anything That's tonight? Yes. 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 Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that you can yeah. have this. We want to have this forum so that you can ask those questions, you know, and find out, you know, 
what's going on have the ability to place these questions so mm -hmm. that other people can learn. Some of the greatest places you can learn is right in forums like this because you learn from just sitting in and just listening. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. sometimes somebody, I may have said something today that you heard through somebody else, but you couldn't hear it through them. So you got to hear it from me or there someone there else. You go. There you go. You got it. That's the way it works. That's right. Sometimes, That's right. you know, we have relatives that are telling us stuff. And we're not listening because they're too, what we call that? We call that too close to the tree. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what know, we that's call right. it. We call yes, it too yes. close to the tree. So somebody like your brother or sister, you'd be like, oh, shut up. You don't know nothing. I don't want to hear that. You know what my grandpa <laughs> used to call me? Because, <laughs> you know, when I was little, Big B, when I was little, I must have been a little doctor then because I was trying to tell my grandma everything. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do that. She said, little Paul, she says, would you leave me alone, Dr. Buzzard? She called me Dr. Buzzard. She says, well, Dr. Buzzard, because y'all remember Dr. Buzzard. You got to really be over if you talk about That's, Dr. Buzzard. Well, I ain't talking. Said, you remind me of Dr. Buzzard. You always got something. To, I was always had something because I'm always thinking. I'm always thinking, even when I was little. That's right. You leave that alone. About. You know, stop using that Crisco. <laughs> well, what can I tell you? <laughs> Bill got that well. Well. <laughs> so, so, so the word to the wise yes, is yes, that yes. if somebody's telling you something, listen. You got yeah, it? No matter where it's coming yes, yes, from. Yes, yes, yes. Whenever you have something, you know, you got two ears and one mouth to do double the listening and half the talking. Half the talking. I know that. You got it? Right. So keep yes, your yes, ears yes. open at all time. Also, Not realize true. what's going on with this coronavirus. Yes. Keep your ears um, up. Keep your ears up. Listen to what they're saying, but yes. also listen to what they're not saying. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. These are things that, you know, people are running out. And, you know, there is a, a, an expression of the blind leading the blind also. And what does the Bible say? Bro, Proverbs said what? They both going to fall in it. the ditch. You got it? That's so right. keep in mind, ask questions. If you can't ask questions or you can't, uh, you know, have an opinion about something and they can't verifiably answer that question, you have a right to say, I don't know I about don't that. know about that. that and not know. to feel like you're you know that you're you know that you're wrong you're yes. correct Indeed. you got it you're Indeed. correct you know you have yeah, to feel in your spirit you know you have to judge your spirit right now you got to know where you siding right now and who you serve the most important right. as always you know I mean? so uh when you're looking at what's going on in the news don't let it be fear mongering don't there let it are. come against you but keep that in mind okay now family before we that's right. That's right. Now, family, I want to, um, before we end, I want to uh, let you know about, I guess, about maybe about a month ago, uh, we were uh, we were informed that Bill had a passing of his daughter. And, you know, Bill, you know, we still send out our condolences to you and the family. And we officially have the information for those who are uh, interested in sending your uh, your cards and responses yeah. to Bill. I just, Bill, I, I just put it in the chat, Dr. Paul. Good, good. So if you are interested in, you know, Bill, we always say there's much love here for you and we love for everything that you do. It wouldn't be possible for us to get this information that I'm doing without your support. So we love you, brother, yes, and sir. continue to do what you're doing. And if there's anything that we can do, family, just let's sow into Bill tonight. Let's be a blessing to him. Uh, this is all going to go to him tonight. You know, for those that are, you know, if you have a cash app or something, or if you want to send something in, it's up to y'all. You don't have to do it. Uh, I received nothing from this. Everything goes to the proceeds for the development of this program to keep it going. Cause I think it's important. What do y'all think? Y'all think this is important? Yeah, well, I yeah, think we yeah. got to keep this thing going. You got to let it grow because now when you're informed, you can keep and ask those questions that you need to ask at the right time. You got it. Yeah. It's very important that you answer the right questions. You got it. Hold. we have an expression. It's called hold their feet to the fire. What does that mean? That means that if you're going to say something, you got to prove it to me. 
You got it? You got to prove it to me that I need to take this this thing that can possibly be poison in my body. You got yes, it? That's right. You got to prove it to me. And if you can't verifiably prove it, then we got a problem. You got it? Then I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait till I hear better. But don't be too anxious to move. And I think that's what you're seeing on TV. People are too anxious. You know, so Bill, I thank you, my brother. You know, and make sure you pull your. Uh, I had to mute everybody again. We're getting too much more. Just unmute yourself, big. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, I there you, you go. Yes, surely. No yes. problem. Yes. Right. And uh, Dr. So, Hall, I'm not going anywhere. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I'll be right here. You know what? Family is more important than breathing because if I can't stand in the gap between the porch and the altar, then I'm not doing the job that God put me here for. So that's mm -hmm. all I got to say. You know, just family just stick close send some that's prayers right. up for me i'm going out on on uh, the 7th of february to go out and talk, kind of close things out for, for my daughter and uh then i'll be back in and be ready to get back to work again so just continue to pray and guess what it's going to get better and, and let me just close things up and let you know that you know as you do this kind of thing this is this is for the family guys you know keep bringing the folks in we are indeed a family and, and we guess what we got to spread this thing so invite your friends you know as you as you do your donations tonight and, and, and any other time just to make sure that it's sold in so that we can sow it right back and just spread the gospel. That's what it's yes. all about. All right, Big B yes, sir, in the buddy. house. All right, thank you, family. Let's give him a hand, family. Let's give him a hand. Yes, yes, yes. It's and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And as we say, you can always contact me directly at 1-877-377-2854. That's again, one 877 377-2854. Also, go to the website. If you have someone that needs to get on this Zoom call, give them the website, www.drpaulervs, with a S, dot com. Have them put their name and their email in, and they will get a notice from now forward to uh, about the family tree every week sort of like a notice goes out private invitation all right uh we are still doing the rm3a mm -hmm. i want to say something to those that say well you know doc i can't get to you don't believe the hype y'all that's right you. if you set up an appointment i tell everyone to when you set up an appointment to ask to be put on the cancellation list. Now, this is not a normal cancellation list. This is a first call cancellation list. That means that when someone is not available or someone cancels, guess what? We go down this list. I have two of the greatest uh, women on that are putting things in order for me, Miss yes, Ivy yes, yes. and Milani. They are really keeping things straight. The first person they call if they're unavailable, they go to the next one. I had someone that was booked for March just the other day because when they went down the list, either no one, someone wasn't home, left it on the voicemail, they didn't call back, you know, whatever the reason, went all the way to someone in March and they came in. So it's not based on, you know, one person canceling and we waiting for that one person. It's the first call. You got it? So if you have an appointment, you want right. to get checked out, get yourself on that list. We'll get to you. Got it? All right, family. God bless y'all. It's been a pleasure. I know that's Thank right. You. Thank you. All right. Wait, before you hang up, Dr. Paul, I just want yes. to tell Flo to make sure she saves the chat box because people were putting their emails and things in the chat box, yes. not directly to her, but to everyone. That's okay. Anyone's um, email address. Also, yes, and absolutely. you know what, promise. Also, remember, guys, that I also put the the chat together and so that I can send it out after uh, Dr. Paul sends me the link each week. So you, you know, my 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 uh, email address is at mechavideo at gmail dot com. That way, you can make sure that when you send that request in, I get it right back to you as soon as I put the piece up on uh, on Facebook. All right. So keep all that. right, all right. That sounds good to me, family. That How's funny. that sound? I want to thank thank to everyone for chiming in. It's uh -oh, been look a out. pleasure. Uh -oh, look out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good I don't want to blame. Night, thank you, Dr. Paul. Night, Dr. All right. We love you now. Good love y'all. Love y'all. Good night. Good night. Blessing. Good night, Mr. Bill. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. Bill. Good night. Next week. God bless you. Yes, indeed. Got got a willing and creek don't ride. We'll be right there.
<laughs> all right, all right. Big B. Yes, sir, buddy. Great Thank you, man. Place. Always, bud. Another always. great one. Another great one. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you so much, brother. Me. Always, my Appreciate friend. you always, man. And you have a good one. And I'll yes. see you on the weekend. That's all right? Up. GB. All right. Take care, family.